Because we all just want to be. How'd you know? Big pod stars. <laughs> D&D not going to real jobs. Man, I wish. That'd be awesome. Hey, everyone. This is Dungeon Master Rick here. I just wanted to take a second to thank all of you who joined us on our live stream. It means a lot that you guys came. And we're there to hassle, laugh, just have a good time and be a part of our very first ever stream. Uh, we've got some homebrew creators to thank. Uh, first up is Shiny Press, who created the Drama of Dancing Flame. Uh, next is Spectre Creations, who had the prosthetic rune you see featured on our large lady. Um, and then also the Spider Newt, which was a collaboration between Spectre Creations and the Griffin Saddlebag. The Wind Whip, which was which was also featured, uh, was created by Loop Tavern. The Ball of Befuddlement was by Dungeon Strugglers, and the Rod of Instant Pillars by the Griffin Saddlebag. Also, huge shout out, as always, to Ivan Dutch, who creates fantastic music, without which we really wouldn't have nearly as fun of a podcast, in my opinion. On this episode, we used Alchemy Lab, Link Street, The Carnival, and The Toymaker, all by Ivan Dutch. And as always, we will have all this information in the notes for this episode. Thank you all. Dan, you're cute. Cool. I couldn't hear anybody. Everybody's muted. Just temporarily. Can you hear me now? I had my mic on my my manual mic. (laughs) Also, (laughs) smooth. Very smooth. Hey, you know. Kind of wish I cleaned my couch a little bit. I mean, this is the unused, really, except for my computer basement. Yeah, I uh, decided I wasn't going to do the background blur and be the only one doing that. So you get to see all my my DVDs. What are those? Never heard of them. Yeah. You get to see... uh... Let's see. The My wife's thread. Theory, uh, artwork, thread, those commissions I had made of Taco whenever he died. R.I.P. Uh, yeah. That's what you guys get to see in my background. <laughs> no wife today. Not yet. No, she'll, be <laughs> home soon. she'll be home soon. So I'm sure she'll swing in here and I'll have to mute my mic to talk to her for a second or two, but you know, I, I guess I'll allow it. I well, suppose she knows where you live, so yeah. well, she kind of knows where you live. I mean, the, the general vicinity, yeah. I know where you live, I don't know that I could get to where you live, but I would know I would probably go in the wrong building or something. Yeah, it has been a while, yeah, probably get shanked, you know, you might. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with getting shanked. Yeah. <laughs> but so I'm gonna sit for the whole the whole stream. Extra cute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not uh, cool enough to have a headset with a mic, so I'm just talking into my little microphone here. Oh, I'm using a big fat mic over here. Ooh. <laughs> I have that mic you gave me somewhere, but this one seems to work better. Uh, it seems like people can hear me better with this one. Yeah, that's fair. So. But uh, maybe that other mic will be good for uh, your podcast. Hey, maybe. Maybe. This headset's from like, I had this headset back when I had a PS3. That's how old this fucking thing is. Damn. It's been a minute. <laughs> headset sounds really good, though, audio-wise. It really does. It's uh, 
Air Force P11 Turtle Beach. Ooh. Yeah. You know, back before I had real responsibilities, I could spend my money on dumb shit like headsets. Who needs responsibilities? Overrated. Not this fucking guy. <laughs> Tim, is that a tactically placed uh, Tinker Gadget in the background? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you pointed that out because I kind of saw it and I'm like, it's really small. I couldn't quite tell what it was, but yeah, that, that makes sense. It's huge. <laughs> Just his crotch. <laughs> the important parts. <laughs> what time are we doing this? What? When are we going live? Oh, we're live. We are live. Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we are streaming on the internet currently this whole time. How do you see who's watching us? I, uh, you know, I haven't figured that out. I was trying to pull up my Twitch a second ago. And then oh, I forgot. To now the that. Twitch is that just you. Years. Yeah, there's <laughs> seven people on Twitch. It's me, 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 Derek, Dan, and Rick. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even watching us right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of them is John, a.k.a. Nicholas, from the main podcast. He just subscribed, like, five minutes before stream started. I just thought of something. This is not that headset that I'm thinking of. This is right. It comes headset. out on live stream. Yes. <laughs> Well, I was thinking, I was like, is this that same headset? Because like I had that headset when I was like a kid. You know, well, not a kid, but like now you're like, a man. What was it like 2009 for the PS3? I have no idea. I never Ooh. had one. Let's talk about that. Hey Rick, for the uh for, for the live stream, do you have it set so that whoever's talking pops up, or do you have the the gallery view of, of all four people? Uh, I had it initially on gallery view and then I switched it over to speaker, but I can go back to gallery if you prefer that. Maybe just because it might get confusing when people start talking over each other and just going back and forth like a not even once. Yeah. <laughs> that would never happen. 2006. No, oh, we were still in year. we were still in high school. We were babies. Access to the gallery. <laughs> Good lord. Man, I found it earlier. How to see uh, like who follows us and stuff. I have no idea. Not a clue. There are 10 people watching. Ooh, look at us. Well, I'm one of those 10 people, so. <laughs> As is Tim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, uh, as most of you know from playing on the podcast, there will probably be frequent dog bark breaks. That's the usual. It's the norm. Yeah. To be expected. I heard that my digital dice all, one all warmed up. Ooh, uh, that is something that I need to figure out how to do. How do I see the chat other than pulling up my iPad every single time? Man, I'm really on top of this Twitch stuff, huh? You should really learn how to Twitch. I'm learning it right this minute. You know, that's coming from me who doesn't even know how to, like, Discord or anything. Like... <laughs> I'm basically a fucking boomer. So, Dan, uh, Blue Eyed Demon says you're the only reason he's here. Hey, that's Dev. Yeah. Hey, Dev. I guess I should say hi <laughs> since he said something. Also, I assume that's that's Ryan, Sir Six Rhino. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. I'm using your headset, buddy. It's famous. <laughs> Ryan, you're on the internet. You can't you can't talk, but you're there. You're here in spirit, sir. Is that banging on your side? Yeah, I have not figured out 
what my neighbor does at like 6 30 or 7 like every single night pretty much like clockwork I think you know i'm pretty sure you know i honestly cannot figure it out sometimes it's random time sometimes i'm like home for lunch and i hear the exact same sound i still don't know so <laughs> i thought right. it was like coming from behind me so i was like what the fuck is that <laughs> got the surround sound hi jeremy Sorry, I think Arlie was trying to murder the neighbor who she can't get to. Um, all right, so are we ready to get started? Your dog is. Yeah, <laughs> she's always ready. Oh, uh, yeah. Arlie's, uh, Arlie's on the internet now. As ready as I'll ever be. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this Dungeons and Dragons thing. Oh, shit. I forgot to do the, uh, the thing so they can see your roles. Next time. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. See oh, our right. roles. Where are we I, I promise not to. Look. <laughs> Just every single time. Oh, 20. All right. <laughs> 20. Oh, wow. <laughs> Digital <laughs> dice. All right. So, uh, do we want to go over the podcast, like kind of what we're doing tonight first, or do we want to introduce characters first? Yeah. What are we doing here? I just, uh, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't even know. I clicked the link and joined the a Zoom call. So I thought this was for work. Yeah. Is it not for work? Yeah, you guys are not getting paid for this, by the way. Shit. I'm going to put that's this on your just, PTO. That's just God dang un American. But, you know, without the P. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start off. Um, I think most people probably know who we are. At this point, I think it's mostly our friends watching right now. But in case you don't know, if this is your first time, this is Hammer the Gods, a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition actual play podcast, uh, loosely based around like Greek mythology. Honestly, it doesn't always show up, uh, just kind of randomly. But we are doing a special, different than our normal campaign tonight. Uh, we are doing the Bad Boys of New Alexandria. So, Tim, why don't you start us off and introduce Nikitas? Sure. Uh, Nikitas is a unknown age, unknown origin changeling. Uh, he used to be a Spoilers. criminal. <laughs> uh, used to be a criminal and has had a change of heart after meeting somebody who has moral divine light, or at least who he thinks he does. And now he's trying to earn back trust of his newfound goddess in following what's right and moral law. And now yeah. he's a detective, a new detective. He's been a new detective quite often. Uh, he, <laughs> appears as, he appears as the new face every time he joins the force and is a, a constant rookie and always paired up with his favorite companion, Demetrius. All right, Demetrios, you want to uh, introduce yourself next? You might want to unmute. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding space. It's just not in the right window. I have to go between two screens. Every time. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Hold on. There we go. I did it right <laughs> this time. Uh, Demetrios uh, comes from a pretty strict military family. They've always, his father was involved in the military. His grandfather was involved in the military. He's involved in the military. Um, there's one person in his family who's kind of breaking against that tradition. That's his brother, but we'll learn more about him. Um, he's a pretty uh, rugged, I think uh, Kratos, but without the tattoos. <laughs> um, and he's got a, he's, you know, he's bald like Kratos. He's got a reddish brown beard. Um, he's a, he's a pretty big dude. He is a, uh, he is a fighter. Um, and, uh, he works for, uh, currently as a, as a, in an agency where he is, uh, training, uh, rookies. Basically he's, uh, he's, I assume he's got some, uh, command. And so he's entrusted with this role as, uh, in training these rookies. And he, uh, <clears throat> I think that's a, I, I don't want to, I don't know how much further to talk. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, just a, a quick note for all the viewers. We actually started, I don't know what, 
a few months ago, Tim, Dan, uh, playing this campaign kind of on the side, just initially it was supposed to be like a, a one shot, maybe like two session type thing. And the first night was so much fun that I was just like, well, do you guys want to do this all the time? <laughs> and uh, I figured this would be a fun way to introduce things, just doing something a little bit different and doing a actual, this will be the prequel to what we've already been playing. Um, and Tim, just so you know, I named it because Derek asked me tonight what uh, you guys work for. You work for the Bureau of Civil Investigation and Protection. So now you know who you work for. Can, can like, you say that again? Civil. The Bureau of Civil Investigation and Protection. It's a government job, right? My mom yeah. said I had to get a government job. Yeah. The mom you don't know. Hey, she could be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> she could be Bion for all we know. Could be. <laughs> all right, Bion, last but not least. I'm definitely not Nikitas's mother. Let's get that out of the way right now. Uh, you have a much better ass than she does. <laughs> much better. Much better. It's very clapping. Uh, so Bion is just like your, uh, you know, prototypical dwarf boy, cleric. Uh, who believes in uh, law and order and justice and pretty much uh, believes in the law right down to the very last punctuation point in the <laughs> whatever you want to call it, the penal down code. to his tippy toes. Yeah, down to his tippy toes, right down there, <laughs> in his, right down there in his penal code. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, but she's a big fan of the penal code. Big fan of the penal code, and muted myself again uh <laughs> and he he's you know he's just a cleric and he's just out there trying to to do the law trying to do the law what uh what flavor of cleric are you <clears throat> order cleric or whatever it was called we found yeah. it in the uh i don't know one of those supplemental whatever, whatever yeah you found it, it somewhere and then you just yeah. did it yeah yeah exactly yeah the rest as of one cleric, does with dungeons and dragons you know? yeah you can just find anything you want on, on the internet yeah right? so. um and actually derek and Tim, I don't think we talked about your guys' subclasses. Uh, Derek, first, what is your fighter subclass? Uh, he is a battle master. Oh, very nice. Uh, Nikitas is a bard, wizard, and soon to be rogue. What, uh, what flavor of bard, wizard? Uh, bard level one. Uh, so he didn't define a, a subclass yet. Yeah, I couldn't remember. He is divination because it helps with his investigation. So uh, before I forget and you forget, because I think we forgot last time, you should probably do your portent. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was just looking into that. I'm going to roll my, my portent now. It's two rolls, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. First roll is a 15. Okay. Decent. Decent. I put down 25, so... <laughs> Uh, second roll is a 14. Okay. We'll see how that plays out. All right. Any uh, last minute questions, concerns, anything? I forgot to mention my race, which is, I just said that he looks like Kratos, which he does. Oh, yeah. But which is his a, race. <laughs> <laughs> his race is Kratos. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, a, uh, he's a shifter. So uh, ordinarily he looks like a human, but he can uh, at will uh, in some cases, not so much in other cases, shift into uh, his beast form, which is, resembles an auroch, which is like, a, like an ox. But cooler. Yeah, that's more syllables. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are going to start this um, as a, a quick backstory i know everybody playing already kind of knows we talked about this but for you listeners um both nikitas and demetrios are currently detectives working for the bcip um they normally have been partnered up but recently nikitas was given a new partner uh due to 
Demetrios, you know, you kind of mentioned briefly some shady stuff going on with your brother. And uh, because Nikitas is assigned to that case, he has been assigned to a new partner as well. So where we will start tonight, you all are in the Lyrical Liar Tavern, relaxing after a long shift. Nikitas, you decided to meet up with Bion to kind of get a feel for him. Um, and you see that Demetrios is already there whenever you guys arrive at the tavern. He's just sitting at the bar. Okay, um, I'd like to think that uh, when I was reassigned, I took on a new persona. Uh, so <laughs> I'm no longer the old, the old persona. I am now uh, Normalicus, an average human male with mm. zero distinguishable, fe- distinguishable features. You think his eyes are blue, but they could be green, they could be brown. You can't quite remember his hair color because it kind of shifts and could be anything. <laughs> He's just so not rememberable. <laughs> at all. Nothing remarkable about him at all. He Fair. look like a man he's a normal human maybe not even a man maybe he just looks like no, he's a normal man with a normal average sized penis normal average sized that's like two and a half inches it's not, right? it's not remarkable it's not <laughs> remarkable it's just right there just normal as normal as can be yeah all right so nikitas you and bayon don't really know each other very well. Bion is, in essence, the New Alexandrian version of a beat cop. And he has recently been promoted to detective. So that's kind of what you were wanting to meet with him about. You guys met at this tavern. So as you guys head in, as I mentioned, you see your partner, Demetrios, just hanging out at the bar. Otherwise, it's kind of a slow night. Um, This is a place that you would normally come after work. Uh, It's also a place sometimes you come to meet CIs. Cool. Uh, Yeah, I guess I approach by on and I say, you must be the new cop. I tap by on the shoulder. So you, sir, <laughs> don't ignore me, please. He just <laughs> stares at you with that cute smile. I stare <laughs> longingly into his eyes. That's what uh, I felt like. I, I he, was like he was like, he was looking as like I right do, my face. eye color changes from all around the rainbow. He was looking like right in the camera, and I felt very uncomfortable. So, you know, because it like, it like he started talking, so he popped up on my big screen. Andy, that doesn't matter. That's getting off track. I, I will say, real quick aside, Tim, you are very good at making eye contact for not actually being able to make. Right there, you just did it. <laughs> yeah, look at him go! Look at him all go! I right, right, tell you what, I won't. I won't make eye contact until I'm serious. <laughs> all right, bye, Ob. You're being talked at. Yeah, I am Excuse the me, new sir. cop. Excuse me, I start tapping you, your shoulder. Are you going to let I, me talk, or are you just going to keep talking over me? No, sir, sir, I'm so sorry. Um, are you talking over me because I'm sir, short. I'm so sorry. You, you, you hmm? go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm Stupid the new, new guy man. around Stupid these parts. Man. But uh, that don't mean I can be pushed around like some rookie newbie boy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I thought I'd come out with more authority, but but really, I'm I'm glad you have some command because I'm I'm more of a follower. I, I usually, I, you know, I follow the lead of my of, of, of my companion, uh, D- Demetrios. He's over there. Hi, Demetrios. Yeah, and Demetrios. Oh, snap, I'm in a different disguise. Crap. You could absolutely <laughs> hear this commotion. <laughs> As they walked in, like you, you knew that he was here. You just weren't acknowledging it. I would imagine. So, uh, does Demetrius know he's been taken off the case at this point? Yeah, for sure. Um, do I recognize that uh, Normal Toss is my the partner, the guy, the my rookie? I was just working with training. <laughs> Why don't you roll an insight check? I totally just screamed across across the bar. That's my partner. Oh crap! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll that with advantage. I, that is a good point, Tim. Twelve, twelve on the dice. <laughs> Stupid mute button. Okay. No, I, I would say you probably recognize him. 
something vaguely familiar but unremarkable about him. <laughs> uh, Demetrius um, is really going through, you know, being taken off the case in his head right now, sitting at the bar. Um, so he just kind of he sees uh, Nikitas and Bayan uh, talking about, you know, are you the new cop? He knows that, oh, that he's, this is the guy who's taken the case for me. It should be me on the case. Um, so he just kind of uh, hammers back his drink and then kind of shrugs them off and keeps uh, kind of to himself there. Okay. So, uh, Bayon, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. That's cool. Well, you know, cool. <laughs> his mouth it's moves and no words ignored. come out. I know, I just have one of those unremarkable voices and faces. It's easy, <laughs> easy to forget me. <laughs> Sorry, I had clicked off the screen. You guys know how that goes. Uh, <clears throat> more about myself, you say? Well, let me tell you. I'm here to drink ale and solve a case that you couldn't solve. And I'm all out of ale. <laughs> all right, I guess, can, can we have two more uh, bartenders, sir? Ma'am, I'm not sure. <laughs> can I just have two more? Hey, Bion. Real quick from the chat, uh, we have a question. How big does your peen have to be to follow the penal code? Oh, it's two inches. <laughs> you had that answer so fast. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Yeah, how does one do? All right, so the waiter brings over a couple of drinks. Uh, I, I wait for buy on to pay because Demetrius usually pays. <laughs> Well, doesn't that just check out? All right. I throw down a couple of, uh, I don't know, what, gold coins. I don't know how much ale costs. I'm rich. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. You didn't mention that in your. your oh, yeah. Everybody's extra... rich, by the way. Like, hell rich. <laughs> you announced to the bar. <laughs> I'm Hello, a cop. There's the Liar do? Tavern. I am Hello, I'm, and I'm rich. a rich dwarf. What's up? <laughs> Around on me. <laughs> Do you order around for the bar? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm rich. Okay. Matter. Wine all around it is. So, with Which that, that? <laughs> uh, I, we won't even worry about that. <laughs> so this rich. this may be, matter. yeah, this may be a canon episode, but I'm not going to keep track of uh, gold right now. It's a minor. Oh, I'm also so rich then. I have so much money. Yeah. Absolutely not. You have a normal amount of money. <laughs> I have 10. Whatever of average is. You have a normal amount of money. <laughs> I have an average amount of money, median income. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, Demetrius. Yes. As you are just hanging out at the bar, you spot someone who you recognize as a CI you regularly have worked with. Uh, they are an owlin, just kind of sitting at the end of the bar, um, sort of avoiding eye contact with you. If I recognize them, what's their name? Their name, uh, her name is Melita Copperdown. Copper what? Copperdown. Down, like feathers yeah. down. Yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> Roll for horniness, Bion. And you said that she looks kind of like timid. She's avoiding eye contact. Yeah. And, uh, roll an insight check for me, Demetrios. And uh, Bion, I would like to know that number, please. A 20 on the die. Ooh. First natty. Bion, what, what is your uh, your horniness level? Uh, it's a 10 plus my constitution modifier. Uh, or charisma. Is... I mean, charisma would also make sense. Yeah, I think for horniness, I'd have to go with constitution. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's, uh, it's plus flow, two. You know? uh, now, if you want to go with dexterity, which would be more like how well I'm performing, it would be a negative three. But that's but, not uh, about horniness. Gonna go, that's about plus two. Yeah, that's that's not really about horniness. So, all right, so uh, twelve all together. Yeah, you pretty, know, you know, it's not it's not the horniest I've been, but it's not bad. Yeah, maybe like a semi. 
I'm hella rich, but not hella horny. So, so <laughs> these hoes ain't loyal. Until you find a mirror. Then the story is totally different. Especially if it's a mirror with another mirror. <laughs> that ass clapping. That's why they call you ass clapping. It's... All right. So, Demetrios, um, you have a very strong sense knowing Melita. Um, she's done this before where she will try to avoid giving you guys information. Um, she doesn't really want to be a CI, but she also really doesn't want people to do just god awful things. Also, hello, Pupper. Uh, so this is normal <laughs> behavior for her. She's like, so she's we're used to saying, oh, she's got she's got to have information. So I just like, okay. So uh, I just acknowledge her, right? Melita. Melita. She just looks away and even more tries to avoid, like, turns her back to you fully. Uh, Melita, uh, I can see you right there. And she just, being an owl and fully turns her head around while keeping her body stationary and immediately turns it back as if, you know, I just creep she's, she saw you but didn't didn't look at you, you know, trying to be super sneaky and failing horribly. I like grab my head and just like uh, I get up. I push away from the uh, the bar and I walk over to Melita and I, I like reach out to as gently as possible, um, touch her shoulder. Okay, uh, Nikitas and Bion, would you guys roll a perception check for me? Sixteen. Excellent. Eighteen. Okay, you guys absolutely notice this interaction between Demetrios and Melita. And uh, Nikitas, you would definitely recognize Melita. Oh yeah, Melita's my old boo. I taught Bion as much. <laughs> She's pretty hot, buddy. There she is. There she is. <laughs> She's wild. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, Bob Bion, um, I, I keep an eye on them just to see if anything out of the usual happens. I know that eventually we're gonna have to case her too because she's one of mine, you know, CIs C- as well. Right. Uh, but but I, I look over at Bion and I say, "Hey, so so Bion, right? Did you did you read the case file on on what we're supposed to be detecting together or investigating?" Reading case files for desk cops. Okay. I was hoping you I wouldn't don't... say that because I agree. Says <laughs> <laughs> the guy who frequently quotes penal code. <laughs> by by statute, <laughs> I know those by memory. Okay, you know, uh, reading reading case files is it's it's beneath me. To be perfectly honest with you, <laughs> that's that's for the rookie cops who bring uh, the uh, Greek donuts because I don't know what a Greek donut would be. That's for Greek the, donuts, you know, the Greek donuts. That's canon know. now. Uh, they bring well, that would be Italian. I was gonna say the cannoli, but that's not even Greek either. Uh, hey, anyway, I they mean, bring, they're, they're, they bring they're the bu- it's for the rookie cops who bring the baklava to the morning coffee. Okay, Ooh. okay. Look at I'm you. above that. I'm Look above. You. Yeah, well, I yeah, I brought those donuts in earlier today. You can, yeah, that's where all my money went. Is well, then did you <laughs> read the case donuts file donuts for the office, you know. Well, then you should have read the case file. That's you know, if you're bring if you're bringing the baklava, you got to read the case file. It's it's, it's in the law. Uh, well, I have it here. Maybe we can read it together. And I and I take out the case file. Uh, Honestly, oh. I'm I'm not sure that Nikitas can read. Oh, he can read, of course. He's, he's he journals all the time as an investigator. I think he just draws pictures more than anything. I think he's, Bion he's would fluent see. in a lot of languages. Uh, but yeah, he does <laughs> like to draw. He 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 draws words. So hmm. Bion sees Nikitas Creates pulling comics. out the case files and knowing that he doesn't want to have any part to do with that starts to uh, meander off into the crowd a little bit. Okay. And by crowd, you mean there's like half a dozen people kind yeah, of scattered I mean, about the town. I can, I can make a crowd anywhere I go. So uh, I don't even pay attention. I kind of just stay in the journal uh, doodling, doodling like I'm drawing a perfect representation of what I believe Demetrius's brother would look like. Who you have met previously oh then it's then it's picture perfect then <laughs> did your dog just open that freaking I, I saw that as well this podcast is over now we're investigating this dog 
He wants out. He gets I'll, out. I'll read that damn case file <laughs> <laughs> all day. So, um, as you guys are kind of discussing this, Demetrios, you go over and tap Melita on the shoulder, and she says, "Oh, goodness, Demetrios, I, I had no idea you were here." You clearly looked at me, and I said your name twice. No, nope, nope, absolutely not. Lita, I was I think really we just play this. That that dwarf over there, I was admiring his uh, buttocks. I look. What do his buttocks look like? Glorious, like fully caked up, quite large and clappy. I just, I just furrow a brow and just like. <laughs> so I turn back. <laughs> that's that's wholly possible, but I did say your name twice. You, you, you. We play this back and forth. This, uh, this game. Every you know, time. you know, Ow- Owlin are notoriously hard of hearing. That is known. Oh, I lost you there a little bit. Yeah, you guys froze up too. Uh, so anyway, she said that Owlin are notoriously hard of hearing. That is an unknown fact. Well, I apologize then. Um, Lita, what are you doing here? It looks like you know just, something. Just real quick, roll an insight check. I'm still laughing over the fact that you were trying to be like flirty owl lady and you like froze and like on my screen, your face was like. <laughs> That's not how you flirt. Uh, eight. Not very Maybe eight. as an Alan, maybe. It's true. It's true. All right. So uh, with your eight, you are a little suspicious, but uh, you think she's probably mostly telling the truth. Um. The hard of hearing tracks. I'm, I'm sorry to have uh, assumed. <laughs> she says, it, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but uh, I was actually just leaving. Um, but I, I see your partner's here. So I, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys later. Partner. Hmm. Uh, Demetrius, one, uh, even though you've, you've trained a lot of rookies um, over time, like I, I think you finally pieced it together, but I used the same journal for every rookie persona. That's and probably the how same he... stick figures <laughs> in every book. Yeah. That's probably how he Nick figured Toss it out. And big letters. Yeah, Nick it has like Nick Toss and crops Demetrius down and like a different person's name <laughs> and tape over top every time. Yeah. Absolutely uh, bedazzled. So I kind of like uh, growl at the idea of uh, her calling Nick Toss my partner. She says, oh, uh, I didn't realize you guys split up. Um, well, I should I should probably be leaving. It's good seeing you. Uh, it's great seeing you too, but uh, information. I, I, you, you look like you, you had some information on you. You had that, just, um, that curious look that you always have. That's just my face. But, uh, you know, I... I Really hoped to tell Nikitas this. I, I don't know how to tell you. Let's go tell Nikitas. Let's go together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And she fully tries to walk past Nikitas, like just tries to go around him. But I like make myself like in the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, like impossible to get around me. <laughs> like not trying to be nonchalant about it. Oh, uh, Nikitas, I didn't see you there. Oh, boo. <laughs> hey. And uh, I don't I don't know if owls can blush, but you kind of get the sense she might be a little bit embarrassed. Maybe her um, feathers go up on her head a little bit or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I say, um, so, so, uh, so it looks like you met my, 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 my partner. And, and my name's not Nikitas anymore. It's, it's Normalitas. Shh, shh, shh. You know this. Oh yes, yes. I I, re- I remember this game. You you play it every time. <laughs> I'm the best at role playing. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, say, so, um, we're we're on a case. Uh, do you think you could help us out with some information? She and just can't she... tell, him, tell my 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 chief said I cannot work with him, and I point over at Demetrios. As she much says as I love him. I can't work with him. She says I I actually. 
I didn't know how to tell him, and I, I hope to tell you. I, I really didn't want to tell either of you, but it, it's just, I, you know, you know, I've been a CI for a while. Uh, after my my gambling debts, yeah, got me into some hot quality. water. But it, it's your most rem- re- redeemable quality. It's why I love you. It's yeah, just- yeah. <laughs> She's like, thank you. I don't love you. Mm, I chose not to hear that. <laughs> big big sweet heard, at that moment. You heard, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm so awkward. I, I was called selective hearing. <laughs> Only the word don't. <laughs> it was, it was oh. so uncomfortable to look at Rick and to see his face and go, I don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> I do Facial love you, Jim. Facial gestures on are just, yeah. are just uh, crazy. Yeah, they're they're super awkward. They freeze up all the time randomly. Um, so she says. So in, anyway, uh, you know my my gambling debt has gotten me in a lot of trouble over the years, and uh, I, I'm afraid I, I've heard some bad dealings going on. Um, y- you might know it, it is the season for the celebration of Eros. I'm going to pretend like I know how to spell that as Nick touch. <laughs> you just Eros. draw Cupid. What? Eros, like E-R-O-S? Yeah. Yeah, like the Greek Cupid. Or the OG. Oh. Dan, you keep freezing Dang. randomly. <laughs> That's weird because I have nothing else going on because if I have anything else on, it'll freeze me. Hmm. Interesting. It's annoying. Interesting. It's really annoying. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so she says, anyway, it uh, it is that season. The, the celebration is soon. And there is a carnival that has been up to some shady things. We're getting there. Did you guys freeze too? Yeah, yeah it, it froze just, on my end. Just Rick froze on mine. Excellent. Love it. I had to check the Twitch and see if that froze too. And it did. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, what did you guys hear last? Oh no. Uh, uh, <laughs> I will ask. Can you repeat that? I might actually be hard of hearing. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're love. apparently having some technical difficulties. This is fun. It's, hey, Rick, uh, your it bar is, hey, hey, Rick, your bar is red. It means that you uh, have challenging connectivity right now. Hmm. Love it. Love it. Oh, you're good now, though. Okay. Whatever you did, keep doing that. I did nothing. <laughs> Turn your head yeah, exa- exactly. A little bit exactly. to the left. Little bit to the left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There you go. Full bars. <laughs> cool, cool. I, I am my own Wi-Fi router. So anyway. <laughs> Switching to McDonald's internet. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so just to, to backtrack a little bit, she says... As you probably know, the Festival of Eros is coming soon, and uh, you, you may have seen the, the large tents just outside the city. I checked my notebook, and, and yes, I do have a drawing of the tents <laughs> outside the city. She says, so the, the carnival, they claim to be followers of the gods but from my understanding they they are up to something suspicious something wrong Demetrius is just kind of like hovering in the background he's like what's uh what's suspicious I I say like indelicately does that have anything to do with Demetrius's brother because that's that's what my case is about I'm not supposed to tell Demetrius she says, uh, well, it might. 
Oh, snap. I look over at Demetrius and I fake a tear. Fake a tear? Not even a real tear. Just a fake tear. Oh, it's definitely forced. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He must be dead. I'm sorry. Case closed. She says... They, Solved they, another one. Hold, hold on to the toss. She says there have been rumors of them abducting youngsters into their service. And she says... My cousin says that they're sacrificing people. Uh, I don't believe it. That sounds a little far-fetched, but but kidnapping, that, that does sound like something the carnival might do. Yeah, it's pretty common with most carnivals. They always kidnap kids. Yeah. That's how they recruit. Yeah. I, I was one of them. I, I started my career. <laughs> As a child who was abducted. The secret backstory that none of us knew. <laughs> none of us. Tim didn't even I started know. My, own... criminal, uh, my criminal criminal enterprises started in the carnival. Yeah. As I was abducted. Tim didn't even know that was Nikitas' backstory until just now. <laughs> hey, kid, you want to be a changeling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, Making yes. me spit out my drink, Dan. <laughs> oh. The Joker is my real father. I knew it. I knew it. And Rorschach. That's the cool uncle who I want to be like. You call him uncle, at least, you know. It's probably my mom. <laughs> the changeling family tree is very, yeah. very awkward. Nick Tosh just family. has two dads. That's that's it. Anyway, so she says, All right, so so I said my thing. I need to I need to go. I really need to go. And she just brushes past you. Thank you for everything. And I uh, give her a kiss on the cheek. And she just immediately is just like, nope. Well, I try to play it off all cool. <laughs> yeah. She totally stiff arms you so right like, in the face. <laughs> I was just checking my hair. <laughs> yeah. She fully stiff arms you and you're just like, oh, yeah, nope. We're good. We're good. I meant to do that. Call me later. She just fully, fully. And I give her my like, sending stone telephone number. Yeah, she's already gone. I like throw it in the middle of the floor for somebody to pick it up. Like somebody's gonna pick it up and call me. <laughs> I immediately pick it up. <laughs> Those cheeks will be mine. Oh, the bromance begins. This is their love story right here. Yeah, this is where Demetrius gets kicked out and bye. <laughs> Bootylicious Bion comes in. Oh, All right, great episode, wow. guys. The Demetrius. end. The end. That was it. <laughs> Game. Uh, I think I get serious once. Uh, like when, once she leaves, I, I think I the realization dawns on me that I finally put the two and two together that Demetrius's brother may have been kidnapped by the carnival, and that's where we should start. And he's really in trouble, and this is serious. You put two and two together when she told you two plus two equals four. No, no, and no. you're no. like, hold on. I figured it out after two she left, plus... and I had to draw it in my notebook, and then I put the dots, the literal dots together for my pictures to, to form the conclusion. Did you draw, like, two little bions and then two more little bions? No, I drew a carnival, a couple tents, <laughs> and I drew the perfect rendition of Demetrius's brother, from hmm. what I remember. And then I just have uh, like clowns stealing him. And you remember him as a stick figure. Yeah, yeah, they're all stick figures. <laughs> it's just quicker. It's, yeah. it's my fast form. It's like stenography, but for pictures. Demetrius is just uh, at this point after she left, he's like, like trying to just stand there with his back to them. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not listening. I'm not, you know, because he's not supposed to be on the case. So he shouldn't be talking about any of this. Right. Yeah. And you know, um, your supervisor, Telamon, the Aarakocra, uh, he would absolutely fire you in a heartbeat if he knew that you were even talking to this CI about this case. I'm sorry, Demetrios, but you have to forget everything you heard. Uh, Telamon wouldn't like it if he found out. I, just, I turn around, I'm like, uh, uh, boy, I uh, didn't see you there. Uh, how uh, how are you? 
you are you working hard on the case? I am, sir. I'm no longer the rookie. This is the rookie, and I point to Revion. I I am the lead senior in command of. I don't need that. Yeah, I brought the donuts. Sir. Just like I told Barclavon you. Barclavon boy, you, bring me another. <laughs> yes, sir. And I go and I grab another. Uh, but I wait <laughs> longingly for the for, for the gold to pay for it because I can't pay I, for I, it. I a couple more pieces <laughs> on the table. Obviously. Obviously, because I'm rich. Right. <laughs> At this point, you've paid like two gold between the two of you and then maybe a couple more gold for the, the whole bar when you bought a round. So not very much. It, it's pretty pretty cheap wine i think you own the bar now is how this works <laughs> so, so, of you. Yeah, yeah so nikitas and bayon bayon whenever you were promoted and you were assigned to nikitas telemon pulled you aside and you kind of have that that flashback of setting him in his office as he he paces back and forth you know this aracocra kind of with his his hands behind his backs back not not multiple backs one back um and he he's just pacing back and forth for a solid minute or two before he says now by on i know you've been a an officer for quite a while but i think you have earned this position i'm promoting you to detective but your partner is a bit of a wild card and his former partner cannot be involved. If you see Demetrios anywhere near this case, you'll all be suspended if you do not report him. Now, do I know who Demetrios is? Do I know that Demetrios is Demetrios? Yeah, yeah. He, he explained to you that mm. Demetrios is Nikitas's partner. Well, then by the law, by the law, I have to tell, uh, tell it, tell them on. Yeah, tell June. Yeah, you heard her in the background. She's her mom must be home. No, <laughs> so <clears throat> I need to, uh, I need to go talk to Telemon and tell him that I saw Demetrios. Uh, you gotta tell him on. I'm gonna tell him on that I saw Demetrios. <laughs> Talking to the cute owl lady with Nikitas, normal toss, because that's the law. Can I do something? Uh, can I cast suggestion on uh, on Bion and attempt to make him choose to forget? Sure. You shouldn't do that though. That's not right. nice. <laughs> I clicked it like, oh, "Where's my roll?" He's to make a wisdom save of thirteen. Don't he is very wise. Not. Thirteen. <laughs> Yeah, he's a cleric. This isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> fail, 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 fail. I wouldn't. I would normally portent this, but not in my best interest right now. Yeah, got a fucking I mean, one. <laughs> I make All right. him. I choose to make him not forget this bar scene. I choose to make him forget the whole interaction with Telema about the consequences of bringing him in as a partner. Okay. Or, so or so that part, part, not not like seeing Demetrios or anything like that. No, no. As far as Bion's concerned, Demetrios is a welcome CI for us. Ah, okay. Okay. I like it. Rude. So uh, one second level spell slot gone. Well spent. Yeah, don't, uh, don't blow that on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't that spell eventually wear out? <laughs> Probably. And doesn't, doesn't the uh, recipient know afterwards you're muted tim you're still Sorry. muted uh it lasts up to eight hours uh and they only know it if i fail so that they know if i try to cast a justin on them we have a cat co-star suddenly so I mean, yeah in bubble. in eight hours well, actually no they don't for, sorry no it's it's indefinite my it's a suggestion oh, i guess it does it lasts up to eight hours is the duration <laughs> So it's indefinite for eight hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just can't ask him to stab himself or throw himself into a spear or immolate himself or any obvious acts of harm. The fun stuff, yeah. None yeah, of that. Fair, fair. Selective memory right. is obviously fine. 
So, uh, yeah, Bayon, you do not remember talking to Telemon. You kind of are now confused about why you're here. I'm here to... I'm show my notes in my journal. I'm here to, to help the poor by paying for their drinks because I'm rich. And to chew ancient Greek bubblegum. Well, yeah. It, no. Yes. <laughs> um, no. But also no. So, so even though uh, Nikitas is, you know, starting his journey as the Kustos of Justice and the moral and the moral law, not the law of man, necessarily, <clears throat> he feels that the law is not fair in this case, and that he believes Demetrios should have direct line of interest or, or uh, involvement in the case. Yeah, he definitely has a direct line of interest, a conflict of interest, if you will. No, not a. <laughs> Not conflict. I'd, I'd say uh, <laughs> mutual and mutual interest. <laughs> right, right. Oh, cat number two. They got the door open. I mean, now you got to have June and Jack Jack on. You know, that's the law. As Arlie's over there, sure, they must have taken lessons from my dog. <laughs> He's doing another Zoom meeting in the other room. Teaching right. About open doors. That would explain he's actually my he's actually problems. streaming on Twitch right now. Oh, he's got he's a hell of followers. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a lot more than us right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Bion, Nikitas kind of catches you up after you just you have a, a bit of a brain fart for a minute. You're like, huh? I, I don't remember why I'm here. And then he he shows you his his stick figure drawings and. You're up to speed now, uh, and you're sh- you're sure Telemon is there was no special anything about anybody from from Telemon. Uh, nothing that I can remember, sir. Hmm. By on well, roll, a, be, roll an insight check. Remember. Just roll an insight check for me. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Can I roll a, a counter? No. No, can I roll a ready. counter deception check? Uh, not for this. It'd be like a 12. Total? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you kind of have a, a moment of like, well, I've got my speaking stone, you know, my, my Nokia speaking stone. Three I could just call. <laughs> yeah, they don't sponsor us yet, but they will. They will. Uh, so you're like, I could just call Telemon. He did say call him anytime. But you, you think maybe this is on the level? Yeah, this seems this seems right. Very, this very is on the level. level. <laughs> There's no way that normal Atos, the Baklava boy, would lie to me. Nope. My yeah. Anyone who can buy Baklava, not make it. He didn't make it. Anyone who can buy that kind of Baklava must be honest. Everybody knows baklava is the treat that keeps on treating. Oh, Zoom calls over for your dog. <laughs> Flash flat out. He's on break. <laughs> Union break, you know? Yeah, yeah. Damn unions. Not really. All right, so. Baklava looks so good, by the way. Just go with it. <laughs> You've never baklava, had baklava? Baklava is pretty fucking good. flavored dope. treat. No, I've with, never had uh, it. Lots of sugar and many layers. Very I mean, delicious. it's mostly honey more than anything. Especially back in ancient Greece, it was mostly oh, yeah. honey, honey and walnuts, or honey and pistachio. Yeah, it's a popular Ottoman cuisine, place of origin, <laughs> the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, I mean, but also Greece. Welcome to Baklava, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the origin story. <laughs> Nothing all but ba- facts about baklava. All oh, baklava, yeah. all the time. <laughs> all right, so. Nikitas, now that you kind of know what's up, um, you you do remember seeing these tents. You didn't really think much of it, but you know basically where to go. You remember seeing it, and you're just like, ah, this is nothing important. Uh, yeah, knowing now, knowing now that the carnival is is a, a place of interest, I think that we should. I guess I tell them. Um, I, I think we should go to the carnival, guys. Um, I don't have enough to buy tickets, so buy <laughs> on. <laughs> the reason why you're here is we need you to buy us tickets in the carnival. And Telemom is very clear in his instruction. Uh, we have to ride all of the rides as part of the 
Um, Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. yeah. We're, they, two things: we're doing an inspection listen. of the carnival rides, and we're also there normal to investigate. Us. No, no, the no, normal with us. No, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. You don't have to convince me to go to a carnival. <laughs> I will always go to a carnival. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Telemon sent me here specifically <laughs> to ride rides at the carnival. That now, I didn't have to legit. cast a suggestion on that. He just came to that conclusion on his own. <laughs> now, I will happily pay everybody's way, everybody in this tavern, if they want to go. <laughs> I look around. It's actually the, a bar full of RCIs, so they're yeah. definitely invited. <laughs> <laughs> I will happily pay the way. I mean, I'll I'll take a ticket to this. Uh, what was it? A carnival? You said. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, yeah, you. You're quite tall. You look like you'd really enjoy the carnival. We should all go. Now oh, this sounds like a wonderful time. <laughs> we can buy baklava. Maybe allegedly. With that, I'm going to toss a couple gold coins onto the tavern like uh, countertop. Yeah. This is for everything. You, if you need something else, build me. And <laughs> for, I your, for your troubles. Yeah. I'm heading to the carnival. Goodbye. As, <laughs> as Bion, extra gold. If there's more, please build me. <laughs> <laughs> as Bion uh, leaves the bar, I kind of grab Nikitas aside and I'm like, what did you do? What do you mean? Is he all right? He's behaving strangely. He's fine. <laughs> I see. I see. These are you, not the you, ass cheeks you're looking for. <laughs> you have 100% witnessed Nikitas do this before, and you know that he's trying to do his uh, changeling mind trick. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's exactly it. <laughs> Normally, I'd have words to say to you, but this time it works in my interest. Thank you. I know how important this is to you, Big D. I told you to never call me that again. <laughs> the third time you called me. Now the twelfth time when you were my twelfth rookie. Now that was different. We let, I let you get away with it. It was it was like a celebration. But now, just please stick to Demetrios, Dimitri, Red, if you'd like. What, but not Big D. I'm sorry. Changelings are creatures of habit, and I got into the habit of calling the Big D after one time <laughs> <laughs> big red is what i'll call you now big red just drop just red is fine so just drop red only big <laughs> okay big, hey, big. <laughs> <laughs> all right so all of you are headed off to the carnival right following I mean, I uh, like, uh the clapping well i mean we had a couple of drinks i mean a nigga toss or a normal toss uh what wouldn't go to work with, with alcohol in his system, he knows he knows that's not good. Nikitas so had far one drink. Nikitas, Nikitas had one drink, and you have been like having this back and forth for uh, about an hour. <laughs> I'm sober, then yeah, I could yeah. I could Uber. I was gonna call the Uber, uh, but we could walk. Yeah, I All called right. on the, the the Uber chariots. Make five just, say. Yeah, it's it's Uvu Jobber again. Ah, Uva driver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, as you uh, you make your way following the clapping of Bion's cake, you all. Yes, Dan. I was just gonna make a joke. Yeah, no, I, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> all right. So, as, as you guys follow Bion, who walks a little bit slower than either of you so it's kind of difficult to stay behind him the whole time but you feel absolutely mesmerized like you have to stay behind him and you all make your way to the carnival as you arrive you see three large tents outside of the carnival oh there we go cool um, so outside of the carnival, a little bit in front, you see a man who has drawn a crowd around him, and he says, Gentle creatures of all persuasions, please come into our humble carnival. Join the pandemonium. It'll be an experience you'll never forget. Ooh. 
Let's go. I'm sold. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep your guard up. He seems like a friendly fellow. <laughs> he, he's inviting us into his humble carnival to join the pandemonium. Do you, you even know what pandemonium, pandemonium means? Chaos. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Yeah, it obviously means the demonium of Pan. Everybody loves Pan. a satyr, right? Pan. I can help with this Pan Pam situation. <laughs> Pam demonium. It, it's actually Pan. So, as you guys head in, you see that this this carnival barker is still just rambling to this crowd, drawing in as many people as possible. Um, you see that he is standing on a little, uh, basically like a soapbox, a little box. And would any of you be interested in the Barker or would you be more focused on the carnival? I mean, I'm just, I'm honestly just picturing Willem Dafoe, but that's because I just watched that movie. <laughs> because it is Willem so. Dafoe. You know, I'm just picturing, come on, come on, Spider-Man! <laughs> or whatever, you know. That is, that is the exact words that he said in all of the movies. Every Defoe movie ever. <laughs> you like me, lobster, don't you? God or damn whatever, it. <laughs> whatever the fuck it is, he says, you know. You're fond of me, lobster. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that meme that I just shared. Um yeah, you, you just shared it, but I say it to Sarah pretty often, and she doesn't get it because she didn't watch that movie with me, but, you know. Uh, yeah, sure that's probably for the best. It, it's a great movie. I, I love The Lighthouse, but it's really fucked up. <laughs> You're getting off the subject here, sir. The Am focus I? should be on my dog licking his crotch in the background. It's true. It's true. That is what this is about. Now I they can't notice until you said something. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. I have to listen to it. I hear the licks, at least. Oh, oh man. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get off subject, but when my dog gets to licking <laughs> her feet, it sounds like she's giving her stuff the Gluck, Gluck 3000. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, I know. Uh, Demetrius would be mildly cured. He would just be cautious, like, in, in his normal way whenever he goes out. He's especially hearing what he heard from uh, Melita. He would just be, like, kind of... Anybody who works for the carnival to him is a, is is something. A right. lady could be a, lead, a suspect, anything. So he's he's paying close attention to pretty much uh, anything going on inside the um, carnival while trying to maintain the visage that he is there to enjoy the carnival. So like he's like glaring at people while like slowly eating popcorn. <laughs> uh, Tim, you had a question. Oh, that was a sneeze, sir. Oh. You had your hand raised like that for like a minute. So. Oh no, that was the that was the block out my dog was licking in his crotch. <laughs> that was the the this is cops. Now you're the sensor bar. <laughs> yeah, this isn't uh this Twitch stream isn't rated explicit, so yeah. Yeah. Me. I forgot to put on the black bar filter. <laughs> All right. So, Demetrios. <laughs> Demetrios, you kind of are eyeing this Barker out of the corner of your eye. Um, you notice that he, he is a, a fairly conventionally attractive man, um, but you do notice that he has very um, distinct burns on his hands and arms, um, also up on his neck. Perfect. You are in disguise. Uh, that's what I was going for. I'm going in disguise. Yeah. Hiding my badge. Uh, going dressed as a burglar. <laughs> yeah. How did, how did you get from your, your house so fast to where you can see the northern lights? Because that's very impressive. That's right up back. I'm, uh, I'm up north in Canada. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Canada is his neighbor. All of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something and I fucking forgot. <laughs> that was probably my favorite moment of this whole night. Was you just like unmute? No. <laughs> Beautiful. Damn it, normal Latos using your fucking magic spell on me. 
<laughs> Who told you? Oh, sorry, that was meta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the meta gaming, Dan. Jeez. So, anything else before you guys head in? Uh, is are, are there any? Um, is anybody selling like cotton candy or funnel cake or anything like that? I mean, whatever the the ancient Greek equivalent is, sure. I is baklava for a couple of copper to go buy some some. Uh, snacks. Everything is baklava. They have no other food except baklava. I've never had baklava before. I mean, baklava I've it as many times, but I have never tried it myself. You got baklava, olives, hiros, olive salad, <laughs> and then That's all you need. Ba- baklava again. Disclaimer: yeah. We don't actually believe this. Maybe. <laughs> uh, well, I do buy some snacks because we're trying to go authentic. I bet they have French uh, fries. So, so we got to really look like we are our patrons <laughs> of the carnival. For French fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I buy some freedom fries. and, and um, mm, Yes. Baklava. Yes. New Give Alexandria loves treats. the freedom fries. Okay. Right. So he's asking me for some copper to pay for <laughs> snacks. But I mean, I'm a baller, baby. I don't carry copper. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is the carnival. It's kind of like going to the movies. Oh, the everything concessions are, are, yeah, the concessions are pretty high. Look, I know a lot of people complain about the carnival's prices being really high, but this is this is how they make their money. Unfortunately, you know, this and, is, they make no money from ride sales, from tickets to rides. They make no money. All of their money is concession driven. And the Barker says that young man knows what he's talking about. Bion, you're, you're, you're getting attentions on us. You can't... <laughs> shh, listen, baby. Sense. Baby, listen. Everywhere I go, I've got attention on me, okay? It's part of being in the spotlight. I'm just picturing Bion as, like, Bender, but short. I, mean... I look down and, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I notice his big, you know, clapping cheeks. And I know <laughs> that's what's giving us away, so I cast minor illusion to make it look like he's got a small booty. <laughs> That's fucking. I'm. I'm done. I'm leaving. Bye. Uh, <laughs> Nikitas, roll an Arcana check to see how well you can do this. This is a big uh, ass you got to cover. This thing is like. <laughs> uh, that's a nat one, but plus five. Damn. Uh, I like to imagine that I try to cast the incantation on his booty, but his booty just resists. It it's actually gets a little glorious. bit bigger. It gets a little bit bigger. It's so girthy. <laughs> Think Kim Kardashian, but better. You can hear a food lot hairier. on it. Like if Kim Kardashian were a Wookiee. Demetrius just said something and I couldn't quite make it out, but I think I was going to like it. <laughs> I said you could put food items on it, like a shelf. <laughs> like baklava! <laughs> Still Walking way. around with baklava on your ass. Amazing. Bion, the booty of Baklava. Oh, that's your new name now. That's official. That's going on our, our group chat. <laughs> All right. So now that you guys are fully snacked up and caked up, you make your way into the carnival proper. As you do, which way are you headed? We've got three different tents. There is the slightly larger main tent, and then there are two, one on either side. Do we split the party? Do you? No, I can't. I can't be alone. I have a problem with. Do that. we know? Can I? Can we percept what each tent is? Can I perception that? You could perception it if you went inside. That's bullshit. Uh, is there like a sign outside? Can I investigate like a sign that says? The great so and so trapeze artist versus the animal kingdom show. Yeah, I mean, you could try, but you can't read. So <laughs> I can read. That's not canon. I can read. <laughs> I just can't. I can't write right. <laughs> We're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. We feel your pain. So no, there there is no signage. It just seems like uh, you kind of have to do it all, see it all. I'm going in the, when in doubt, always go left. Yeah. When in I doubt, always left thought it right out. was right. Well, yeah, but right left is, is wrong. Left is first, right? I mean, because you got three rights make a left. Ooh. 
But if we were supposed to go right, the NASCAR tracks would turn right, and they don't. As we all oh. know, they turn left. Ah, uh, the, the chariot tracks. Grease, uh, ancient Greece uh, chariot NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> that is canon. That yes, is officially yes, canon. They go, they go. They they go left. Yeah, I, I really they prefer to watch. Left. I haven't I watched. Thinking? I haven't watched since Dalius Earnhartius the <laughs> second retired. But uh, uh, I hear it's quite interesting. John is so triggered right now. <laughs> He's typing furiously in the Twitch chat. <laughs> God damn it, man. I personally was a fan of the great Ricky Bobby. Never heard of him. The great Rickius, Rickius Bobbius. Rickius he, Bobbius. He woke up in pissed excellence. He was quite great. He set himself on fire once. He, he was just a rumor. By Invisible magic. flames. Yes. Yeah, just a rumor. Just a rumor. Yes. So, I guess, ooh, there we go. Got a little... Uh, body shot of demetrios there we go nice we get to see demetrios and demetrios oh that's that's just uncomfortable <laughs> hey dm me the uh however you did that <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret all right so uh demetrios you see your former partner and his new partner just absolutely indecisive which you are totally used to nikitas has never once made a decision since you've been his partner um also like all of the rookies you've you've had over the last few years who you are pretty sure were just nikitas have been terrible at making a decision um i just start walking to the middle tent i'm a straightforward guy it's the one right in front of me it's the biggest I'm just going to start walking right in there as they're talking about Ricky Bobbius and uh, <laughs> <laughs> the chariot races. I just, they just completely just keep rambling about stuff. Just like, I can't believe this is the, the team that they put on like such an important thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that the way it usually works? <laughs> My brother's going to die. That's it. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah. I mean, he, RIP. He had a good run. Yeah, rest in peace, Demos. <laughs> we didn't even know you. Wait, like our no, this is a different Demos, right? This yeah. is Demos Bemos. Okay. Yeah, this is Demos with an E, not an I. Tim, that's the wrong Demos. character. Demos. Demos. Wrong game. Wrong game. Demos. Demos. He's fine. He's fine. Advertising. <laughs> put, your right. lo- put the logo back there. <laughs> <Right> <laughs> Put our splash page back there. Thanks. <laughs> All Geckos Media. This podcast brought to you by Geckos Media. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Tim's going to send ending. you a bill. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as you start to make your way, it seems like the crowd is absolutely just enthralled with something going on at the leftmost tent. And you got to use your book. You got to use your big boy words. Bye on that's to you. Oh, what you got food services. <laughs> yeah. His uh, craft services just arrived. Garcon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, I think Bion was indicating that he wants to follow the crowd, but Demetrios, as you are leading the way, are you also wanting to follow the crowd or are you still headed towards the middle tent? I will acknowledge. Oh, I heard myself. I must have spoke real loud. Uh, (laughs) I will acknowledge the crowd and then um, continue. I'm just, you know, I need to know what's the, this is the closest tent. I want to know what's inside here. I need to start casing the place as best as I can, as quickly as I can. Okay. I don't know. So, I follow, I follow Demetrius and do what he does, and I have better investigation skills than him. So whatever he's trying to find, I try to find faster. Tim, who is this behind you? Oh, that, this is the D&D character I made of myself. This is me <laughs> playing D&D inside of D&D. I like it. I like it. Yeah, so I, I created, I printed that out in 3D, and it's my uh, Dundee at work. It's on my own nice. uh, Dundee. That's myself. awesome. <laughs> so 
Demetrios, as you get closer to this tent, you hear the barker saying, now, fine creatures, please make your way to the tent at the far right while we set up for our next show. I told so, you right was always right. We should have just started there. Uh, so yeah, I, I start, I, I stop in like 90 degrees, start walking to the right. Like, oh, this is where the <laughs> stuff's going to be. I got to be there. I can try right. left. You said you continue left, Bion? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're cool. doing an investigation. Okay. Yeah. Hey, just saying. You're right. You're right. So we're splitting the party. Nick no, Toss, you're going no, right. I'm just kidding. I'm going right. I'm going with everybody else. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going, going wherever uh, uh, Big D goes. <laughs> it's just big. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Thanks. How'd you get him so, like, in frame, Demetrius was way out of frame. Uh, I used the booth and then I zoomed out and put them all, all the way to the right. That's smart. That's way cooler than, than seeing my dog look himself. That's is it? Is it? <laughs> now imagine if that thing was licking itself. That would be quite the feat. <laughs> we call it Nikitas mostly. Oh, is that Nikitas? Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, he is a barbarian wearing pants. Despite the fact that no one else wears pants, he's quite attractive. Well, the cool thing about him is he could be whoever you want him to be. Yeah, really, by on your kind of constitution for a while, he used to work at a brothel. Secretly, that was actually his first criminal enterprise. To be fair, that's actually where uh, he, he first experienced wealth. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Uh, <laughs> yeah, prostitution in the brothel was where he actually first earned coin. Uh, he never earned it actually being a criminal and stealing things. He only made money by selling himself on the that market. Yeah. And uh, he clearly did a great job of it because he is very wealthy now. The eye contact sold it. <laughs> yeah, people, um, I'm getting messages. Tim, stop looking at the camera. You're staring into my soul. <laughs> and it's just me on our group chat. <laughs> I wish it was right. just you. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> you all make your way to the right. Um, as you are able to kind of get through this crowd, navigate your way, you step inside and there is a pit in the middle full of mud in which you see two of the largest bullywugs you've ever seen fully wrestling froggy wrestling you're welcome dan <laughs> was it you who sent that the other day or was it john it was me yeah i thought so uh i as soon as you sent me that tiktok i'm like that's going in this episode froggy wrestling Well, my brother's not here. Clearly, this is just uh, frog wrestling. Um, let's uh, let's move along. Keep looking for my brother. Do I notice so anything unusual for. about these bullywogs in the middle? Do they seem transformed in any way? Do they seem natural bullywogs? Uh, roll an insight check, or Arcana, whichever's better. Definitely Arcana. <laughs> You're not good at insight. What? Uh, no, it's wisdom based. So no, definitely not. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. With this modifier. Okay. Uh, the bullywugs seem natural, but you definitely have a, a sense of magic about this. And I don't mean just like the whimsical Disney magic. Uh, don't sue us, Disney. But it's like ozone. Just something's off about it. Hey, Demetrios. I'm sorry, Red. Uh, those bullywogs and everything in this tent is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I, I did my arcane sense and things just seem off. This is a good place to start our investigation. Oh, uh, if you think so. I, you know I don't usually have a good sense of these things. Um, <clears throat> this magical sense, this uh, heebie-jeebies. Tell me more. <laughs> Wait one second. I, I lean over to, to Bion and I say, Bion, these peanuts are really delicious. And then I lean back over to uh, Demetrios. Um, I don't know. I did, I'm looking at these bullywogs and I'm watching them wrestle. And 
I'm picking up a magical sense, but it doesn't feel right. I can't. I, I need to get close. Of course, it doesn't feel right. Just look at their their wrestling form. That arm bar is completely wrong. I learned that in basic training. I have an idea. All right, Rick. I'm going to do something pretty pretty uh, bold here. Okay. I'm I'm going to go into a restroom or uh, a private area as private as I can get. <clears throat> And I would like to transfer myself into a Bollywog and join the fray. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the only way to get in there, man. Now, do you completely change shape uh, oh, or yeah. size? I change, I change as a person, yeah. I, how much can <laughs> you change as a size? Size creature? They're small, actually. They're small creature? Yeah. I'm a big Bollywog. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, these are very large Bullywogs. They're like right on that that borderline. So you could be a really small for you, but big for a Bullywog. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm a small boy. So before you do that, you hear the Barker who has come in to announce for Froggy Wrestling. Uh, You see that one of them has pinned the other. And as he says, all right, folks, we have a winner. He says, now... Who will challenge our champion? Oh, yeah. It's your boy, Macho Man, Bully Savage. And just see me uh, push through uh, the, the, the curtains. I have big glasses on. I got Slim Jims that are, are just made that are just actually just chickens that I snap the necks off of. Uh, and then I uh, step into the ring and I'm wearing a belt that I made myself. Um, it's made <laughs> out of uh, leather. I, I, I turn my book into a belt um and yeah i challenge him to to a championship fight do okay. i realize that that normal atos is is missing do i do we know that that's normal atos <laughs> uh roll an insight to see if you detect frog atos is an imposter <laughs> he, he looks a little sus. Mean frog atos. Ten. 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 he looks a little sus but uh you're not sure i'm putting my money on the big one <laughs> And I, I, I throw like five gold coins at whoever's taking the bets. So the Barker just says, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the tip. Thank you. I appreciate it. Perfect. Yes, I, I know the big one will win. <laughs> All right. Niktas, so you step into this mud-filled pit that is the wrestling ring. Roll yep. initiative. Eleven. Okay. I forgot that I would need dice for this. We do so much role play in our uh, bad boys that I just kind of forget that this is still D and D. All right. So, Nikitas, you go first. Um. Got to got to get a play to the character here. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I'm just gonna kind of go for a um, a standard grapple in an attempt to like do a, a basic suplex. Okay. So roll a grapple check. That would be strength based. Sure it is. <laughs> uh, nope. Uh, Ten minus one nine. Yeah. No, that is a. That would have been a good important <laughs> moment, but I did not uh, declare it before rolling. Yeah. Well, I think if I remember correctly, um, and the audience can let me know if I'm wrong on this, but I believe you can do it after you roll, but before I announce whether it's a success or a fail. I believe. That's not how it's written, but that's how you play. I would like to uh, portent that into a uh, 15. I, I did already tell you that it was a fail, so not this Okay, time. all right. <laughs> the next, the next grapple. Uh, yeah. But I make a big scene of it. I miss him, but like, because he's slippery and all, but I really sell it to the crowd. If Nikitas is anything, he's a performer because he's got plus three performance and is proficient in it. Perfect, perfect. So uh, as you kind of try to play this off, the Bullywug, who is just like this large brown angry angry looking he's got like little ridges where eyebrows would be on you know a human uh what's funny is as a uh, as a changeling he is the only bully log i've ever seen 
So I am identical to him in every way. There was a there was a second bigger. vlog a moment ago. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm I took the form of himself. Yeah, he's like looking into a mirror. Okay, cool. So, like, as you get into the ring, you kind of subtly shift to match him yeah. a little bit better. Okay, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Um, so you you shift into this, and uh, he just he seems a little bit confused. You know, obviously he's he's seen himself in like mirrors or water, and it, it throws him off. So we will let Negatos go again. Yes, uh, I'm going to cast message to him, and I'm going to say, uh, "All right, I'm going to grab you around the back and attempt to, uh, uh, to to do an arm bar down to the ground. Go with it." Okay, is that your uh, your full action? If you let me, I would like to then attempt that. If he lets me, if, if he's cool with like doing the show, is is message a bonus action or is it a full action? Uh, it's an at will, so it's a full action. It's a cantrip. Okay, uh, so since it is a full action, you wouldn't be able to do both. I'm gonna tell him what I'm gonna do. Hey, I'm gonna attempt to armbar you next. Cool, and then he can reply. Yeah, he he doesn't reply at all. <laughs> Pick up his body language. He's in for the fight. He's like, you, hey, you see, like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you see that oh. his, his throat, like, inflates, you know, and as he just kind of, like, puffs up, as frogs do right before they are about to attack. And, uh, yeah, he is going to fully try to grapple you. So you can roll a strength check to resist. I'm going to portent that. I'm just going to make it a, a 15 minus 114. Okay. So he leaps at you doing this like standing long jump wraps his arms like fully tries to rugby tackle you and slips off just landing on his ass beside you oh yeah frog toss is slippery <laughs> and i uh, appeal to the crowd they just are very confused uh, is it my turn again yep it is what, by uh, as I'm appealing to the crowd, you know, like uh, at, at the corner, like trying to like uh, <laughs> do all that, I, I want to message to the frog again uh, and say, hey, I'm a uh, cast message. I'm actually an investigator looking into the disappearance of children. Do you know Demos? And, it's and in, in response, do you, what languages do you speak? Uh, right now, Common, Elvish, and Sylvan. And I'm level five okay. or six. I, I know a couple more. So in response, you just get ribbit. I thought so. <laughs> Not that ribbit. Did that seem to be like a, uh, I hear what you're saying, ribbit? Or like a, uh, I don't know what you're saying, ribbit? Uh, you could roll an insight check. Can it be investigation? <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> 11, 10 plus one. Uh, yeah, you you have no idea. It, it seems like it could honestly go either. Thank you, Riley. Um, it could go either way. Yeah, this isn't working out for me. I, I look to uh, Bion and, well, not Bion. I guess I look to uh, Big Red for for help because uh, I think he knows what's going on. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Bion, is this frog familiar to you? Uh, I think he called himself froggy toes a second ago i couldn't quite <laughs> hear him when he was yelling to, to the crowd i i bet on him because he's big but he does seem similar to somebody else that we know maybe that was my thought i mean take a close look at his belt does that look familiar to you hmm. it just looks like a belt i mean honestly it's it's not gucci or anything, so I'm not quite sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Gucci's are Italian, and that's close enough. <laughs> so you, you do notice that there's just a book strapped to his belt. Uh, roll just a quick perception by on. And also Demetrios. I'll, I'll let both of you roll. That is definitely a frog, Tim. 
Okay, Bion. My, 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 how the tables have turned. <laughs> Bion, you notice that it is just a book. And it says Nikitas. But you, the, you see that. Frog belt? Mm-hmm. But you see that oh, it's okay. like crossed out and it says like Normaltas, Bugbearitas, Demetriositas. Conf- I'm confused, Demetrios. I, I look up at him. Why does that frog have Normalitas' book? I think I know the answer. I think that frog is Frogatas. Or Mike Wazowski. My God. Does that mean that he'll have to kiss a prince to become Normalitas again? Well, Uh, you are a noble. I I don't think that's how it works, but we could certainly try if he uh, needs help turning back into normal toss i think the smaller frog is going to win this fight i may have made a mistake betting on on the (laughs) oh (laughs) certainly this frog is getting his ass whooped (laughs) his little froggy cheeks uh should we lay nicotas this uh valentine special has turned into you're gonna make out with every guy at the carnival (laughs) hey someone's gotta be my prince am i right Yeah. yeah do do we break up the fight like how does i've never broken up a carnival fight before <laughs> i'm fairly certain that the uh the the, the bullywog is going to kill him i feel like let's he, watch he, let's watch a little he, bit longer yes, <laughs> yes I, I agree just 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 in case i mean okay. he, he, may, he may get his feelings hurt if we jump in too early <laughs> you see my eyes pleading for help. <laughs> I, he looks like he's pretty confident. Sorry, I would I would like to roll some dice, but my dog will not allow me. I'm being restrained. I'm being grapple checked right now. <laughs> well, you should be stronger, Rick. Duh. I mean, it's Arlie. Can you can you say no to this face? No, I can't. I can't say no to just about any dog. To be perfectly honest with you, though. So yeah. If we're if we're being real here, <clears throat> back into character. Yes, yes, he does seem quite confident. He, I mean, he he is doing the thing where he like waves his hand around his ear to get our attention, but I think that's just to pump us up. I, I don't know <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 does definitely uh, enjoy the attention. <laughs> so Nikitas, I'm going to need you to roll another opposed strength check. As this frog tries to grapple you once again. Keep in mind, you only have one more portent. <laughs> now, I could choose a portent before you tell me if I fail or not, right? I could choose it right. right now. I'm going to take that 14 minus 113. <laughs> I rolled a nat one minus one, so portent it is. I mean, you, are you sure you don't want a negative one? Is he going to beat me anyway? No, no. Oh, uh, then no, I'm fine. I'm going to keep my 13. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, you are out of portents for the, the session. Unless we get a long rest. Mm, mm, no. <laughs> if this guy beats me up and knocks me out, I might be able to <laughs> The long rest being you're unconscious for who knows how long. Yeah. Um, in the, the chat, the kissing booth. Um, that, that's what this is all about. This was just a setup for that. So you are just ready for this, mostly because of magic trickery. You see that he is about to absolutely trounce you, and you manage to slip out using your arcane wit. Yes. I'm going to try something next. Is it my turn? It is. All right. Uh, this time, all right, I'm getting over this now. Like, we're not getting anywhere. We're just slipping off each other. Uh, so I'm going to try to attempt the grapple. And as I do so, I'm going to cast uh, uh, sleep at level two. Where... Don't you only have, like, two spell slots at level two? Uh, no, I have three level two. Spells. Okay. Um, but I'm still going to cast sleep as I grab him and attempt to put him in a sleeper hold. <laughs> uh, so I roll 5d8. And if he, he's obviously going to be within 20 feet of me. 
as long as it equals his HP or or more, uh, he will drop to sleep. Okay. So I got to roll 5d8. Hold on. It's this one. Yeah. He's going to put him to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> 32? It's more than mine. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you you put him to sleep, I suppose. Uh, and as he goes down, I just put as he falls asleep, it's like, go to sleep, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I just put my foot on top of him and go like this, and um, I'm proud as I, I assume, pin him for one, two, three. I mean, he's asleep, so I think you can probably pin him pretty easily. I do that. Uh, put him to sleep. One, two, three. I win. Yeah. Crowd goes wild. I know. I, I, just, have a new, uh, I have a new career that pays better than investigation. Probably. Professional wrestling. Mm-hmm. Bully wog wrestling. <laughs> it's froggy wrestling. So, uh, as you, you pin the champion, the Barker says, all right, now get the fuck out. To me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I take my belt and, and I walk in, in into the back into the dressing room where I assume the rest of the performers are located. Yeah, th- there's not a dressing room. What's is there anything in the back like where the performers are? I guess I'm trying to like now infiltrate as a performer of this of the carnival. I gotcha. Um, so in this tent, no, there is not. I just step outside, uh, go back into my form as normal toss and just go back <laughs> to my seat and sit down next to the and say, well, that was utterly useless. <laughs> Question. Is he covered in mud? Yes. 100%. Uh, yeah, oh, I don't have precedentation oh. anymore. Well, so you yeah. can scoot the fuck down. You're not getting my robes muddy, sir. <laughs> I scoot down. <laughs> all right. So the Barker is now ushering you all to the far tent saying, the next show will be at the tent on the far left. Well, I guess we go to the tent on the far left. <laughs> this, this tent was useless. I just watched some frogs <laughs> wrestle. Did I get money or anything for that? Like, <laughs> uh, No, you got told to get the fuck up. <laughs> Man, at least in my head, I know I'm a hero. Like, I did a good thing. I have a career in wrestling. If- all this goes to hell. You are a hero for embarrassing the champion of Froggy Wrestling. <laughs> this is how you become Frog Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, this is how you become Frogger Man. <laughs> all right. So you all make your way to the leftmost tent where they're already somewhat into this show. Um, it seems like it's been going on for a few minutes. And this one is a little bit more um, complex than the froggy wrestling. That was basically just everyone sits around and watches them and go at it. This one is a much more choreographed uh, musical type tent. You guys keep freezing up, so I'm just making sure you can hear me. I've seen this one. So, as you guys enter the the far tent, um, there are two people with standing drums beating out a rhythm. Um, As they do, each strike on the drum, you see flames shoot out uh, just, just a little ways. Sorry, there's now doggy wrestling going on. So, uh, yeah, with each strike of the drum, flames shoot out a few inches from the drums, um, you know, from whichever side is hit. And you see that the dancers are shooting out flames from their hands. Uh, Since we did just talk about this the other day and you have not seen Avatar, Dan, uh, for everyone else who has seen Avatar, just picture like the firebenders, how they, they just kind of like punch and they'll shoot out a flame or do other kind of like martial arts types moves and shoot flames out. As they are launching these uh, like flamethrower type attacks at different targets 
up in the air, suspended from the roof of the tent. In betwixt all of this, you see that there is a tightrope. On said tightrope, you see very, very small, what appears to be maybe uh, owlbear cubs, one on each end, walking this tightrope. Well, that's thing, right? This is an awesome show. <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive. I just eat my popcorn. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, I don't, so I don't like it at all. Yeah, Bion, being the grumpy old man here, um, does not approve one bit. And Bion, you see that the owl bears finish their act and are followed by this six-legged lizard-like creature, lizard-like creature. Um, any of you could roll a, uh, a history check or possibly nature. It's bad either way. Is that just buy on you? Uh, no, any of you. Any of you could. So it was nature or what? Uh, history or, or nature. <clears throat> either way for me, I rolled a nine. Yikes. Uh, I rolled a 19 for nature. Okay. 21 on history. Ooh. Okay. Um, so I would say both Bion and Nikitas would know that this is a creature called a spider newt. It is a six-legged creature with eight eyes dripping with some kind of substance. Uh, you can only assume, and especially knowing a little bit about nature and history, uh, it is likely acidic. Okay, I lost you for a second there. It's got six legs and eight eyes that drip with acid? No, it drips with acid. Its body drips with acid. Oh, I thought oh. you said you see that while you're tripping acid. <laughs> <laughs> you might see it while you're tripping acid, but. Uh, I guess I relayed that to, uh, to, to Demetrius, even though it's pretty obvious. That's what he sees. He might not understand what he's seeing, though. It's a spider lizard. We used to see these all the time at our, was, at our Greek college parties. <laughs> They're a common party favorite. <laughs> the barkle of our was the lace. Acid. So I may have seen them in a book. So the spider newt is a large creature. I mean, it is probably ten feet long at least. So it it is pretty significant size. It's definitely more interesting than the poor baby owl bears. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> They might so, fall to their death. I'm pretty, I'm pretty nervous about their <laughs> performance. So you see that it begins to climb up. There's like a, a central pillar under this tent that seems to be holding everything up. You know, obviously there are other ropes and things like that, but there's one central pillar that seems to be the main support. And you see that it climbs up um, whilst these fire dancers and drummers continue their musical number. It is just doing some feats of acrobatics. I, whisper, I whispered to Demetrius, even on my best day, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down. Keep your eyes open. See if you notice anything suspicious, more so than that terrifying creature crawling across <laughs> the I think everything here is suspicious. You got you got a uh, flamethrower hands. You got baby owl bears choreographing tightrope walking, and you have yeah. uh, choreographed that's, animals. That's got to be against some law. We should probably <laughs> investigate that too. I asked Bion. Open up an animal are cruelty there any laws case. Are laws being broken here? Any PETA laws? 
Oh, there's more penal laws being broken here than I can <laughs> count, honestly, to be quite frank with you. Uh, much law, much more laws than my, my cat's distracting me. Many more <laughs> laws than many more laws than you could fit on a yardstick, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Peter stick, you mean? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. A, a Peter stick, yes. <laughs> uh, it's the pecker stick. The Peter stick varies by the user. <laughs> I'm suspicious of these baby owl bears. Uh, you might need to question them. No, no. <laughs> I'm suspicious that they've been polymorphed. Mm. Can I roll an arcana check when he says that to see if I notice anything unusual, magical about the either the fire nude or the owlbears that, that are beyond natural? Sure, absolutely. It would help you if you were unmuted. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, 14 plus 519. Okay. Um, you do not sense that there's anything wrong, like polymorphed or anything like that, with the creatures in the show. Um, you do know that the, the spider newt is not necessarily a common creature in New Alexandria, but you have heard of them. Yeah, we saw them at the Greek parties. I mean, we, yeah. We, you know, uh, Your frat parties. Use their body as a luge uh, to pour the wine down and mix it with the acid and give you. It, it burns a little bit extra, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do whisper to Bion, "Hey, I did a further investigation into those owl bears. There's nothing special about them other than other than they're just really good at acrobatics." Yeah, I mean they're also suspiciously they're cute. Very well trained baby owl. Very suspicious. Yeah, suspiciously uh, cute. But otherwise, um, can we? Can I? Can I? Hmm, hmm. No. Hey, Red, what, <laughs> what you do? This is definitely I, the time we need to be at. I feel like we should announce ourselves as law enforcement and break this racket up. It is clearly highly illegal this talent that they have for dancing and music i'm not worried something about something is dancing. i'm worried about the guys shooting fireballs at baby owl bears no no, no. at targets <laughs> yes but they're like the baby owl baby bears owl bears are, have an identity they're not just if you, targets if yeah. you go to the, if you go to the shooting range and you're shooting at targets but you tell your kids to walk back and forth in front of said targets while you're shooting that's child and day. I mean, I'm just, it, that's you fucking, also, that's real law. You also do not know that this is real flame. These could be blank flames. Okay. Uh, don't, uh, what? They're just shooting the blanks. They're shooting, they're shooting blanks. blanks. <laughs> okay. It's called but illusion. But it's what called illusion, Bion. And then uh. I cast minor illusion to show them, look, look, I can shoot blanks too. <laughs> Does it look like there's like a ringleader or somebody in charge? Uh, so you see that the Barker is here again. Um, and he says, all right, folks, I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. The main event is up next. Oh, good. We don't have to fight the lizard. Do you guys want to take a scene? That remains to be seen. So I, as he says this, um, the crowd starts to shuffle out and you see that the musicians and dancers are kind of packing up their gear. What are you guys doing? I want to take a... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. I was just going to say, I'm, I want to take a close look at all of the performers as they're maybe taking off some of their costume pieces that would uh, hide their features. I'm trying to spot my brother like uh, out of the any of them see if i recognize him or really recognize anybody uh again uh we have you know several cis that might be involved in this type of thing so sure. i want to see if there's anybody i recognize specifically my brother okay uh roll a perception check and i will let you roll that with advantage
He's muted. I did the thing. 17. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, as you are just scanning these performers, um, you recognize one of the musicians, one of the drummers. But you do not see anyone who looks like your brother. Um, the drummer is not a CI, but she's someone who you have met kind of through former investigations. So, okay, so she's not a CI, but she's definitely someone I, I, I know. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't okay. know her super well, but you, you have met her and you would know her name is Iara. What was that? Who who is Iara? Is she one of the drummers? Yes. Okay. Uh, she is for everyone here. Um, Iara is a Goliath. Um, she is much shorter than your typical Goliath. They're they're kind of pushing the max of the medium size typically. Uh, she is about six foot. So significantly shorter than most Goliath. But Still you see, tall. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you see that she is completely hairless and gray. I mean, as all Goliaths are. Um, can I walk down to that area where they're at? Absolutely. Yeah. As, as the crowd starts to disperse. Um, it seems like you would be able to go and talk to them. Okay. I, I start heading down uh, that way. I, I point out to uh, Nikitas and Bob that um, I recognize this person as a, uh, as, a, as a contact I've worked with in the past um, on previous cases. Uh, I want to go see why she's here. Okay, Red, lead the way. Okay. So you start to make your way down there. And she doesn't seem to notice your approach, but one of the other performers does. Uh, a human woman who is a little bit taller, she's, she's over six foot, probably uh, closer to like six, six, very um, muscular build. And you notice that she has a prosthetic arm that appears to be a magical prosthetic arm. Uh, it glows purple and is semi-transparent. And you notice that uh, it, it's her left arm. Also, her left eye seems to be magical as well. It is also translucent and purple. I really thought you were going to say that she has a beard and this is the bearded lady. <laughs> so close but no she's just the, the magical arm lady yeah. Ion is in love absolutely tall thick purple arm purple eye what's not to love he's got that in his greek twitter <laughs> twitter uh not twitter uh, tinder tind tinder his ancient greek tinder account looking for tall thick woman purple arm purple eye required <laughs> <laughs> i keep thinking of that that scene from game of thrones where torment is trying to find uh brienne and he's like there's the big woman there <laughs> that's me right now yeah absolutely hey you got a letter you just got a letter <laughs> you just got a letter man i never thought i was gonna get sued by blues clues but here it is <laughs> I wonder what taxes. It says. <laughs> That's how much I paid in mortgage insurance this year. Too much. Yeah, yeah mine was too much. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. But also, it's not that much. Like, if something had happened to the house and I needed it, that's actually pretty decent. But that would, it's still. Yeah. Anyway, 
let's not be adults. Let's be magical, imaginary people. <laughs> so, Demetrios, she steps into your path and says, you know, the, the next show is about to begin. You really should head that way. Uh, and we will in, in, in a moment. Uh, I'd like to talk. And I like I, I kind of shout out her name, uh, Yara. You see, she kind of looks briefly over her shoulder and then just again for the second time tonight, pretends like she didn't see you. You know, you this really happening to me. Yeah, you, you have an effect on the ladies. Um, I, I attempt it one more time. I shout her name. And she, she looks over and says, oh, it's you two again. And you've made a friend, I see. Uh, yes, this is Bion. Hello, milady. She uh, says, Yara. Go ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to, uh, Yara, um, I have some questions for you. If you don't mind answering some. I... I suppose, but make it quick. Uh, first and foremost, uh, does anybody um, by the name of Demos here, you know, my brother? You know, there are a lot of Demoses, a lot of brothers out there. It's a big world. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, enough. can I step in? <laughs> Go ahead. Ma'am, you are. Uh, yes, I, uh, I'm by on Alemaster. You may have heard of my father, uh, Tigmund Alemaster. He's you know quite famous in these parts, according to some people. No, anyway, never that's, heard of that's neither here nor there. Uh, my friend here is looking for his brother, in much the same way. No, not quite the same way that I'm looking for a purple ar armed woman, but similarly, yes. Uh, would your memory perhaps be persuaded should I offer you a small pittance? Uh, I am know, just called a bribe. That's illegal. She says, you can, you can bribe me all you want. It uh, doesn't guarantee anything. I drop a fat stack of coins on the ground on accident and go, oops. Do you also bend over as you do? No, if I bend over, that'll be too much. The purple armed <laughs> woman will have to come home with me. <laughs> right? I mean, that's how this works. Yeah. You show the you show the coin, you show the booty, purple armed woman. That's how it works. I mean I read, I read that in the law. I'm pretty sure that's how you got your wife in real life. You know. I had no money when I met my wife. Let's just <laughs> make that clear right now. Oh, I, still I know. Don't have I was money, there. But that's beside the point. I was there before you guys got married. I know. <laughs> we were both broke. <laughs> and still are, weirdly. Broke so. as shit. <laughs> so, uh, as, as you do this, she says, okay, and? That's enough gold to you know stub your toe on if uh, that doesn't help you spark a thought of where his brother might be maybe I can be persuaded to lose some more wink wink you have two toes to stub <laughs> <laughs> those are all the toes, toes you need you know really just two uh, yeah, she just says, look, you're, you're kind of cute, I guess, but uh, I'm taken, so I'm sorry, and uh, I'm also pretty busy, so if we're done here. Uh, ER, if I might, you do
should fall silent. Did that yeah, come through? I, I, <laughs> it got a little a little frozen there. So uh, can you repeat that? Yes, she, she I can repeat left. that. <laughs> what are you doing here, Yara? God damn it! Everyone is hard of hearing in. Uh, in your- <laughs> Uh, yeah, weirdly, everyone keeps freezing in New Alexandria. That's just how that works. Um, so she says, look, uh, you three, I'm really busy here. I'm trying to do my job. I don't know if you know what that is, but uh, I need to do that to eat. So is it kidnapping children, Yara? She says Straight to the fucking point. <laughs> she says, look. I am not going to sit here and be hassled by three weirdos, one of whom maybe is kind of okay. That's me, by the way. It's me. Ten minutes ago, he was a fucking frog. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do have a thing for frogs. Uh, Nikitas has to excuse himself. <laughs> as he uh as he uh, asked to use the restroom and he uh, bolts to go let his dog out to pee <laughs> is that what they're calling it nowadays <laughs> do we want to uh take a, a quick break let's all go to the lobby <laughs> let's all go to the lobby all right so uh we're gonna take a quick break guess yeah we're going meta now i'm gonna go grab a snack a little snacky snack yeah yeah before we got on i uh chowed down on a foot long chili cheese glizzy (laughs) hey all right i'll be right back hurry up it's all you myself Yes, I could hear a three D printer when we when you were talking uh, about the robot arm girl. I just kept envisioning and picturing like her arm moving. <laughs> I didn't know so, you could hear it. <laughs> so it's actually not a robot arm. It is just like a, a magical, like translucent purple arm. So when, every time she moves, it like Nikitas is going. <laughs> yeah. You, you had a dream one time about something called a Tinker Gadget, and it sounds just like that. Yeah, it was one of Tinker's gadgets. <laughs> oh, that's such a good shop name. That's what, that's what Tinker Gadget's yeah. been up to in there this hiatus. He's become <laughs> a bounty hunter slash merchant, and his store is called Tinker's Gadgets. I... While everyone else is hanging out with Pizza Ronimus. Pizza Ronimus. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's actually a, a pretty good segue. I forgot to do this earlier, and I imagine probably by the end of the stream, most of us will be ready to be done, and most of the listeners probably won't want to listen to us uh, rattle on about some other stuff. So, uh, Derek, Tim, would you guys like to kind of talk about your podcast or your business, anything like that? Sure. Sure. Uh, I am Tim. I am a managing partner of Gecko's Media, who a production house for podcasts. About four or five of us now and uh, steadily growing, but I'm also one of the co-hosts of Gecko's and Grotto's D&D, a comedy improv (laughs) D&D-ish game uh, that is purely based on improv and random drawn cards for everything we do. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. On Geckos and Gratis. Um, you should check us out. Uh, if you like this podcast, you'll like that podcast probably. We're uh, really goofy. Everything is, like <laughs> Tim said, uh, drawn from a deck of cards created by the players and viewers alike. It's somehow less serious than even this. <laughs> hey. In a good way. No, that's a good way. Serious. We're never serious. (laughs) (laughs) Just Tinker. Tinker is always serious. All business. Absolutely. (laughs) Uh, Dan, I mean, obviously you're you're a part of Hammer of the Gods now. 
but uh do you have anything to to plug no man not not really i i don't i don't i don't plug anything just plug uh episode seven of book of boba fett after we're done streaming tonight bro if i was gonna watch book of boba fett we would have had to been done at like 7 30 okay <laughs> I, I have watched it twice already <laughs> I, i'm i'm tired actually i'm not as tired as i used to be <laughs> so out of curiosity who is still listening there's uh still seven hanging in there i'm on one I, I closed my uh app really? so oh no you know what? i opened it up yeah if you're still listening show some love yeah. let us know who you are what do you like and what do you not, not like yeah, show some love and we'll send you some free merch. Not really. Yeah, Rick will send We don't merch. have merch yet. <laughs> <laughs> we have some merch. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. We will send you. Slash Geckos Media and you will find all the merch you need. Yeah, we will send you to Geckos and Grottos <laughs> instead. <laughs> the good old bait and switch. <laughs> Learn that in marketing class. <laughs> well, I know, I know two of the people watching. Uh, I've already forgotten how to get there. One of them is me, but that's you know, that's, <laughs> that's beside the bush. One of us just joined. Now we have eight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I joined it, it would just fuck up my internet more than it already is. So, if any I don't of the know. listeners can guess the number I'm thinking of between one and ten, you will win a grand prize of all the cash Bion owns. <laughs> But only for your Dungeons and Dragons character, and uh, don't sue us. It's oh, the number I was thinking of was not between one or ten. So, <laughs> pretty safe. question. As long as nobody says Got sixty-nine. <laughs> hey, that's my favorite number. Oh. Got you. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, I don't um, even remember how to get back to the chat. Cool. Yeah. That's, so that's is, awesome. is 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 uh, a. There we uh, go. You did it. Who the fuck is Captain Somo85? Because they've been fire all night. Right? I don't know. I don't want to go into debt because they don't want all of Bion's cash. They don't want to go into debt. They're, they're smart because I they only get debt from me. So They, they might know us in real life, then. <laughs> yeah, That's what I was thinking. Somo, please share your, your full government name and social security number <laughs> and full address, please. Yes, yeah. that would be that would be great. The, this is this is for marketing purposes. Also, your measurements, your astrology sign, you especially know. your penal code measurements. <laughs> I would like your your crypt your crypto uh, wallet passphrases as well. Yeah, send us all of your NFTs. Cool. It's probably John. Uh, no, I think I saw him earlier. I don't know if he's still on here, but I think I saw. Oh no, he he's for sure on there. I it's see him. Be- I feel like it's got to be somebody we know because it's Captain Somo, like Southern Missouri. We are we're in a mysterious location. Who knows? Who are great you? state of misery? <laughs> <laughs> don't, Allegedly, don't dox us. <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> I'll dox right. every one of us right now. <laughs> so, to pick up where we left off, you guys were talking to the Marge. musicians. We were talking to Large Marge. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Large March was in the way. She was the <laughs> unnamed woman with the glowing arm. And then Liana <laughs> is behind her. She's one of the drummers. Yeah, uh, they. So, Iara was one of the drummers. Um, you see that the large. Arlie, I know you want all the attention. Sorry, dogs. March, March. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta give more cuddles. It is the law. Um. So yeah, how, large Marge. How did your internet fuck up with you just scooting like seven inches? Because I'm you my scooched. own Wi-Fi router. We've already confirmed this. It's canon. Seven no, I mean like funny. it's just more evidence. <laughs> it's a secret. I can't tell you. All right. So, uh, the large lady. You see that on her her belt. She has a whip that she pulls out. And as she does this, a breeze blows through the tent and she cracks this whip. Um, and you, you see that it is like as if it were made of air. 
Who cracked? Who cracked that whip? The large woman. Large, large Marge. Lady. Yeah. And uh, you see that she is now getting the spider newt down from its perch. It, it is just hanging out up at the top of the tent, and she is calling it down to its uh, its crate. And Iara says, "Yeah, uh, Kina, she's." Not really a, a people person. She's just kind of here for the animals. Purple arm well, lady's name is Kina. Yeah. That's great because I'm not really a people. So. <laughs> or even a person. But you know what? I've been spurned now. And love hath no fury like. Or hell hath no fury like a bion scorned. <laughs> and so now I, I'm going to probably request to see their permits for such a dangerous creature. There has to be a permit. And uh, Kina just says, I do what I want. Who's Kina? Is that Large Marge? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my notes are right. Kina is Marge. Tim, those might be the best notes you've ever written for any of these sessions so far. Oh, they're actually <laughs> just stick figures, actually. <laughs> Nikitas is a thinly veiled version of yourself. <laughs> A, a large I've been person. Found out. <laughs> he's got like he's got like a large stick figure person equals large stick figure person. <laughs> <laughs> and then it has like plus. somehow I can understand the nuance. It, well, it then is. it has like a, a plus and a very small bearded stick figure with a big ass and a big heart around it. Yeah, yeah, canon. Absolutely can. The hieroglyphics of old. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So. What, Dan? I was just 10 out of 10. Ah, yeah. Yep. I get it. All right. So. Iara says, look, uh, you probably, probably should go check out the other show. Um, I didn't say anything. But maybe talk to Lethos. Lethos? Yep. What does Lethos look like? Yeah, you'll, how do you draw that? She says, you'll you'll know when you see him. I look at Nikitas. And wonder if maybe that's Lethos. <laughs> You're on to her. Oh no, you figured this <laughs> out. I've been the villain all along. <laughs> I just, I just um, kind of lean forward and, and thank Yara for um, not telling us anything. <laughs> and, <laughs> Basically, and, she's uh, just a really good showman. She said, "Go check out the other show." What is what yeah. the first people said? Go check out the other show. So it's really it's the tent I wanted to go to. Check out all of the performances. <laughs> the Secretly, the, is on point. Yeah, the, the magic in the air has just been like suggestion this whole time. <laughs> They're trying to bankrupt the ale masters by making me pay admission for everybody to every tent. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jokes con. on them. Yeah, they spread rumors of children missing, so people go and investigate. It's their only way of like everyone here is investigators. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the entire is crowd injury. is just detectives. <laughs> They're all changeling detectives in really bad disguises, except for Nikitas. Yeah, I'm in a really good disguise. Yep. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Normal. Uh, I I I suggest we just we. Uh... It doesn't seem there's not anything here that we need to uh, stick around for. So let's head over to the other tent. Cool. I agree. So as you all make your way into the main tent, <clears throat> there is a show that is already in the midst. Um, you see that in the center of this tent, stands a tall figure, uh, this enchanting-looking woman who is telling the story of Eros and Psyche. I know Bion is entirely intrigued. 
Um, so he, he is telling, or sorry, she is telling the story of Eros and Psyche of how they became to be uh, this couple, this famous couple of love. Um, as she is telling the story above her, are these large projections. Uh, Nikitas, you would absolutely recognize that this is some sort of illusion magic um, done for entertainment purposes. I won't even make you roll for that. Uh, yeah, this is what I used to do at children's birthday parties. Um, I made some cash on the side. And- <laughs> <laughs> so- You're like, actually, I could be doing this. Are you looking, uh, are you looking for a children's party magician who will also suck your... <laughs> Nikitas! <laughs> <laughs> no no you got me mistaken for my brother Nikitas <laughs> which is really just Nikitas in a different face <laughs> oh. oh my anyway. chest hurt from laughing so hard <laughs> amazing that, that is the goal here um, so anyway what are you guys doing? So, wait, wait, so my way of telling the Bion and um, and Demetrios, I, I, I did basically tell them they're using illusion magic to create those projections. I can do that too, just so you know. <laughs> what about the big woman? Is she an illusion? Uh, uh, you're not sure. She she appears real. She's all woman. Is that Lethos? I don't think so. I mean, Lethos. You mean Ethos? Ethos? Lethos. Lethos is the one who Lethos with an L. you were told to go check out. Oh, Lethos, I mean, sorry. This is why we use letters in yeah, our so sorry. Not the, just the, pictures. The, the stick figures are very difficult to read sometimes. <laughs> have horrible stick figure writing. The other person said I would know when I saw Lethos, and I feel like... Listen. Okay? <laughs> uh, roll an insight check, Bion. She's wearing a name badge, Lethos. <laughs> Sixteen plus. I can't see, and I don't want to reach for my sheet. Uh, I think it's plus two. Eighteen. Yeah, reach for it. Reach for it. Eighteen. All right. Uh, you definitely know that this person in the center, uh, who seems to be, if not casting these projections, is at least like directing them is the most obvious person who you would want to pay attention to in this kind of circumstance. So you can assume that this might be Lethos. I knew it. Called it. Well, we can't just walk up to her and bother her in the middle of the show. Maybe we can ask Uh, some people nearby. we're We're police. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, this is the first time I've heard this. You cannot stop a, a live show. We have to let the performance uh, go on. It's only what's right. Yeah, the show must go on. That is the law. Can I ask somebody mm-hmm. nearby, like, who's this? Uh, I mean, the people nearby say, uh, so uh, a, an older gentleman is the one closest to you. And he says, you know, I, I just kind of, Wound up here. I don't know how I, I made my way to this carnival. I don't really remember. Probably. A- He's quite old. <laughs> it's like, are you with your family, old man? <laughs> Someone here with you, taking care of you. He says, I'm not that old. Is your, uh, can I do, because um, I'm always looking for mystical arts and, and influences. Uh, can I see if he's been influenced by magic in any way? Yeah, Either you can roll an arcana check. Or something like that. You should, Absolutely. You should detect magic. Uh, 21. <laughs> no. I can detect magic if I wanted to. But no. <laughs> yeah, I just, just want to see if, he, if, if he's been touched by magic. Because he, uh, he, he doesn't know how he got here. Yeah, with your 21, um, you do not believe that he has... Oh, he just has dementia. <laughs> you should really look out for his family who's taking care of him. I gotta get better at staring at my camera like you. Yeah, Tim really has the intense eyes down. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> like I, I don't know. I just 
I'm, I'm used to looking at the camera to get answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give you the answers. Jeez. Anyway, so now that you, you have that, uh, what are you guys doing? Well, I guess we'll just watch the show since everybody else says it's against the law to interrupt the show. However, <laughs> I've read, the, I've read the law from front to back. Well, Nikitas read the law from front to back, and then he told me what the law is. I understood none of it. And I yeah, mean, you, you mostly read the back, Bion. Everybody knows Baklava Boy would not lie. <laughs> so... Never, not even once. He says that interrupting the show is against the law. Then it, I mean, that's probably true. So I guess I'll find a comfy seat and watch the large lady do magic for the next. This is not the large lady. This is just a a regular sized lady. Oh, thanks. I thought this was big too. Okay, fine. Then we'll watch. There, wait, potentially Lethos. Allegedly is Lethos. A less the bad bad bad. Yeah, I couldn't uh, say it either. I fucked it up. It's anyway, cool. we're only live on the internet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess I'll just sit down and chill until we figure out, uh, you know, what to do. I personally think we should stop the show, but you know, uh, I'm going to take an audience suggestion and I'm going to start booing. Okay. Uh, thank so you. Uh, roll up performance. I'm going to start booing. Uh, and my uh, my objective here is to cause a ruckus. So yeah. that I can maybe get brought behind the scenes and maybe we can start investigating back there. Absolutely. Uh, Nick Toss, roll a performance check, please. Uh, 16 plus 3, so 19. Okay. Um, let me see. We'll roll a percentile. Let those sucks. Let those sucks. Let, I'm trying to get a chant going. So... It, it starts out a little bit slow. Um, Bion, are you, are you chanting? No. Okay. So as Nikitas, you start this chant, you, you notice that the old man is just kind of murmuring along. And is like, yeah, this sucks. This sucks. That's right. That's right. This sucks. And as the two of you are just kind of being angry old men grumbling about this more and more it, it starts to pick up uh it's not everyone but a, a decent number like it, it starts to become quite loud i like when ronda rousey came out during the royal rumble and everyone started booing her and then they had to change the yeah laugh. They had to yeah change sure. the laugh track around I, so everyone thinks that they're actually cheering but really they're booing yep i i totally watched that yep Sorry, yeah, I didn't. I didn't either. It was on Buzz, Buzzfeed. Yeah, you, you heard that on the internet. So, uh, as, as this happens, you see that this woman in the middle just continues. I mean, seemingly starting to win the audience over again, and the chanting stops. Other than you and the old man, kind of grumbling. Uh, okay, there's only one way to combat this, is I now cast Silent Image, uh, which is my form of projection to mimic what they're doing, and I just keep writing you suck, you suck, you suck all over again in cool like calligraphy fonts and different animations, <laughs> and uh, my goal is to get people to look at me and check out my show. Over there. Now, now that could get by on to say you suck. <laughs> but only one time. Yeah, so you see, you got silent image, which is basically me projecting uh, stick figures of of them sucking. (laughs) All right, so um, as you cast this up into the air, the story, I mean, you all would have heard the story of Eros and Psyche. Uh, it's, It's a common story in New Alexandria. And as this story ends, they quickly leave the stage in a puff of mist. Oh, they're better than me. I can't do that. (laughs) I could turn you into a puff of mist. 
Uh, so, so now, like, uh, as they leave, and now my silent image is now me telling the sad story of Nikitas's history of growing up in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, being who he needed to be in the moments he needed to be them, uh, <laughs> forming the forming the thing he has become today. It's his it's his personal memoir in video form. Yeah, confessing to being Drowatas and Frogatas and Normalitas. Does he confess to being Bionitas? Uh, that was a very quick like subliminal like image that popped up. So most most people missed it unless you like stopped it right at that moment. But I'm kind of like, wait, that kind of looked like no, it couldn't have been. Yeah, it's like when you freeze a, a like pause a Disney movie, you get those weird cursed images. That was by Amazon. like like in the Lion King where it has like the thing. It's like six. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so sorry. Uh, as the show ends, and this person in the middle disappears into the mist the barker comes back out and says well thank you all i hope you've enjoyed the show please tell your friends do we tell them if we didn't enjoy the show he just walks away no my video portrayal is now me uh, getting accepted into the police academy <laughs> this is Police Academy 1 and uh, this is my second entry uh, Police Academy 2 <laughs> oh is there any clear like oh that's the exit stage left over there like where employees only would be sure roll a perception check can we all roll it or just just Demetrius uh, I mean I'll let you all roll uh, 15. I don't see shit. Nikitas. Pretty average 12. Bon, what did you get? Five. <laughs> hey, at least it's not the third not one of the night. So, Nikitas, you definitely spot what seems to be some kind of uh, secret flap in the tent. Especially secret flaps. Yeah, the secret uh, tunnel. I- I um I I like I, I, I nudge. You haven't both. even seen that show, Dan. <laughs> I, but I, I know the memes. <laughs> I nudge Biden and, and I nudge Demetrius and I say, "Hey, look over there. There's a, a secret flap in the tent. I think we should investigate." Good eyes, boy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> even though you guys are probably close to the same age. <laughs> oh, I am like 300 years old. Do they live that long? I have no idea, but he's of unknown age. So <laughs> he's convinced himself that he's actually Doctor Who. You're like 900 years old in your own head. No, like I feel like this is what Danny Bardito actually is. <laughs> uh, they uh, live to be about uh, 100 years. So he's, he's probably like 50, 40. Yeah. 50. Or 300. Who knows? It's a mystery. He could be cursed. You're right. He could be older than that. Yeah. Find out next time on Hammer of the Gods. Um, no. So, you guys all are, are headed towards this flap now? I mean, you, you pointed it out, but are you guys headed there? Definitely headed towards the flap. Oh, Tim, you muted yourself. I'm sorry. Uh, how do we want to go about that? Do we want to be uh, uh, sneaky or do we just want to just literally walk through the suspicious flap? I'm going to take a note from Bion here. We're the police, damn it. <laughs> I, <laughs> You're God's damn right. All right, I, I close my video portrayal of my life and uh, <laughs> I follow Demetrios and Bion to the flap. All right. So, Demetrios, are you taking kind of the lead on this, I assume? Uh, definitely, yeah. Cool. All right. Are you sure that makes so, sense? Because I may not be able to see around you if, if shit goes wonky. I mean, you could see over me, but if it's <laughs> you and me... Uh, you're on your own, Bucko. He also moves a little bit faster than you. Just probably what, like five feet faster. What did you mean? Twenty-five feet? Yeah. 30. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't write it down. <laughs> yeah, as a dwarf, I think you're twenty-five. Yeah, it definitely that that's stride. Can. Well, that checks out. Yeah, that sh- the stride's a little lacking, but that's okay. You got it where it counts. So, as you make your way 
Ma'am. As you make your way towards the flap, uh, Demetrios, are you are you doing this a little bit dramatically? I mean, you did say the we are the police, so are you adding the drama in? I am walking with fervor. Okay. So I, I kind of picture that you know you, you've got a lot of motivation here. You know, your brother is missing. You're fairly sure that he's here somewhere. Um, so I, I almost imagine that you like kick the flap, just fully like lean back and kick it, and then just walk in super dramatically. The flap just like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Does it smack Nikitas immediately after you? Maybe. Minor details. You did it with style and grace. Um, so as you walk in, you see just kind of a, a hubbub of different beings. All kinds of creatures from kobolds, bullywugs, goblins, to humans. You see the purple-armed Goliath making her way through. Um, You do not see immediately the person who you saw, who you believe to be Lethos. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You're you're in the way of your own advertisement. (laughs) Can we grab somebody and like fucking interrogate him. Who are you grabbing? Uh, well, ah, 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 wait, wait. I'm waiting. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got the uh, zone of truth, but like, I don't want to just willy nilly cast that. Well, everyone knows immediately when they're inside a zone of truth. I'm pretty yeah, sure. But, but like, <laughs> pretty sure. No, like, if I do it and they stay in there, it's, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, they, they may not stay in there. They may just go, it, isn't it a cone? Uh, I have to pull it back up. I don't want to. That's why I should never Pretty mind. sure it's a, a radius effect. Yeah, okay. Yeah, either way. Everyone has to make a wisdom save too, I think. Yeah, and oh, I mean, yeah. either way. You're going to roll all those dice? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're carnies. They can't be that wise. Attention to all of the carnies listening to this. That was a joke. I actually love... It doesn't matter. You know what? The movie with Willem Dafoe. Do me. <laughs> I went to a circus once. Why am I blanking on the name? What would the... What the fuck Nightmare, was that movie called? Nightmare Alley. Yeah, yeah. It's Fantastic. Right now. Is it really? Yeah, boy. This is our plug for... Come one, come all! This is our official plug from Hammer of the Gods for Nightmare Alley with Willem Dafoe. <laughs> we love you, Willem. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Not that you'll ever fucking see this. So I'm behind this grab somebody random and interrogate them idea. I, I think Demetrius is at this point, he's, he's becoming more and more agitated and he's been doing a really good job at following his breathing exercises <laughs> and his uh, grounding himself to make sure that he can contain his because normally he's a pretty rough guy. Yeah, his anger management's really paying off. I mean, oh, wrong side. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's a smile. Yeah, when we go through the Doesn't flat, everyone we smile just like that? And interrogate them. Like someone too big might be able to take us on. <laughs> And maybe like so, a small march, maybe not a large march. So with Zone of Truth, they can they know that they're in the Zone of Truth and they can no. not answer questions if they don't want to. So basically it just gives them the right to plead the fifth, <laughs> which is totally fine. Uh, Wait, I don't know if that's true about Zone of Truth. Do they really know they, it? They can't be it? compelled. They know they're in it and they can't be compelled to answer. It's just that if right. they do answer, it'll be a truthful answer. Right, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely different than it was in third edition. Third edition was a lot more, from what I remember, a lot more like you have to. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm hearing, and uh, feel free, audience, to give us any suggestions. But uh, I'm hearing, grab a small being, 
Yeah, we need to grab one that we know will speak the same language as, as at least one of us. I mean, what language does everyone speak? English? Um, <laughs> Dwarvish, <laughs> Elven, and something else. Yeah, I got common, Elvish, and Sylvan. Halfling. I don't know why I picked Halfling. It felt like something that a rich guy would have learned how to speak when he was in college. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> Demetrius, what have you got? Common, just common. Oh, perfect. That, Good that's old all new, you really like, need. New Al- Alexandria Joe. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> if he can't Love make it. it work with his words, he'll make it work with his fists. That's true. I like it. All right. So, uh, as, as you guys are kind of scanning this crowd, it, it's hard to say, you know. As I mentioned, there are all sorts of different beings. Um, you do know that Kina was able to speak the same language, but she wasn't necessarily the most forthcoming. So, um, I mean, it could be anyone random. I just want to like grab somebody and be like, where's Lethos? Okay. Uh, so you just grab the nearest creature, which happens to be a goblin. And he says, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea useless and I throw him <laughs> just like not not like hard to like right. injure him just like just get him out of my hands and he just says thank you I know he damn with his confidence. <laughs> I toss that bo- I toss that little fella a coin so thank you thank 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 you I can I retire just, I just grab the next person and it's like lethos and this one happens to be a hobgoblin who says never heard of him but they said him mm. Mm. suspicious <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about uh, can this I roll is... an inside check to see if they're telling the truth sure oh it was almost a 20 but then rolled over to the 6 mm. sucks to suck that's um, <laughs> it is getting us nowhere. Bion, Nikitas, do either of you have an idea? I'm starting to get a little um, anxious. Um, uh, Rick, is there more to? So we went through the flap. Is there more mm-hmm. than just the few people we see? Like, do is there more dressing rooms or more areas of potential investigation if if you were to get away? It's it pretty kind of- hard to tell. So. The backstage area is pretty smoky. Like, this is where everybody goes on their cigarette break, basically. Oh, okay. Uh, definitely Skuma. Yeah, I was going to cast Fog Cloud, but I'm like, no, they got it covered. I yeah, think they've, they've got the Fog Cloud covered for sure. I think we might have better chance, a better chance if we split up. I... We can cover more ground and talk to more people. But also, that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> that would just turn into Demetrius would be like, okay, and then just start continuing what he was doing. Picking somebody <laughs> up and be like, Lethos, give me Lethos. Where are you hiding him? Give me justice. Where is she? Uh, can I, I guess if we're gonna break up and go to start randomly investigating, maybe I could take the form of like a performer. What if you took? What if you took the form of the purple armed woman? I mean, I can could. Well, I've she's never in done here. <laughs> arm before. Yeah, and people get really tripped out when they see themselves or they see copies of themselves. Yeah, as long as somebody do, readily do available. See, do we see the purple armed woman? I mean, you guys saw her a minute ago. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. She's here at the convention. You know, Bion, you would think you would remember the love of your life. Well, you know, I, you know, <laughs> I, got, I got sidetracked by trying to figure out who the fuck Lethos is. <laughs> uh, can I just, like, uh, randomly walk off to the side and just start opening other flaps or other parts of the backstage and just seeing if just anything jumps out flaps. as unusual, like cages full <laughs> of children, maybe? 
Oh, that seems suspicious. Oh, well. <laughs> no, that's totally normal. Happens all the time. Just kidding. That doesn't actually happen all the time. Um, <clears throat> so, as you are about to embark on this quest to search for kids in cages... Um, that's my new podcast, by the way, Kids in Cages. Check yeah, Geckos and Grottos just, like, burns down schools. Bad boys, all kids in cages, all the time. Not really. Well, then, nope, nope. We're moving on from that. Um, so, as you are about to embark on this, you notice that all of these people backstage seem to be making their way out of the tent very quickly. And within seconds, it is empty. Uh, oh, no, I was say when I saw them emptying, uh, I guess I want to follow and try to blend in with my average look of face. Um, with them and like gesture for Bion and Demetrius to follow wherever they're going. I wouldn't want to give them the opportunity to leave us alone. Right. Um, so, Nikitas, uh, as you're starting to do this, I need you to roll a wisdom save. Twelve plus one, thirteen. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, so uh, what would Nikitas's worst fear be? Like his worst nightmare? Uh, probably like uh, like embarrassment, being found out, being being proven weakened. Um, basically, like picture like being in a school play but being naked in front of everybody. So it's mm. just pure shame and embarrassment, I think, is his greatest fear. I I, I think I know. Um, so. As as this room empties, and a sudden silence falls in this tent, you are haunted by visions of Telamon being projected from your speaking stone, telling oh, you, yeah, that'll do it. Telling you, Nikitas, Bion, you're both fired. No! This is absolutely the first time I've been fired. <laughs> Can't fire me, you Kentucky Fried bitch. <laughs> Kentucky being the uh, the lost state of New Alexandria. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Nikitas has been fired uh, probably 60 times and has come back as a different recruit every time <laughs> to join the force. So this is just old news to him. <laughs> and as you are just kind of trying to brush this off as, you know, this is no big deal. He says, now, I know you've been putting on a different face. We have finally caught up to you. We know you're a changeling. Now, we won't be fooled again. You, you fooled me once. And they won't be fooled again. <laughs> And fool me 60 times and shame for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, since you failed that wisdom save, I need some more dice. Here we go, boys. We're going to fight Telemon. We're going to fight Telemon. Here we go. We're going to beat his ass. Uh, because I'm a wizard and I'm level 4, I only have 5 HP. Perfect. That's all you need. Just, just don't get hit. Like, what's the problem? You got it. At least I'm safe inside my mind. Wrong. All right, so uh, if you die, you can blame Amanda. These are her dice. That's Amanda at Desired Effect Dice. Uh, Nikitas, how much HP do you have? How much HP are you trying to take? <laughs> um, let me see. 25? I'm dead. I'm out. Well, I'm not dead. Uh, I'm full unconscious for 25 dice for sure. God, you're so squishy. <laughs> I, have 20, I have 20 HP. Yikes. 
That is Ouchtown Population U. By Zeus's beard, you see me like, something wrong oh, with these Nick people are, I'm like, oh, these people are leaving this, the, the, the flap. We gotta follow them. And then all of a sudden, I just like, start convulsing on the ground. Probably saying something about like being fired or Telemon or... It's so I'm, not I'm not a changeling. I'm not a changeling. I see face. this, but uh, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I run over to him and and check on him. I'm He's dead. definitely out. He still has a pulse. Bion, is there anything you can do? I can inflict wounds. <laughs> <laughs> The order cleric, the deepest, really guts. coming in strong here. <laughs> so I, I do have healing word, but I don't know what that word is. Yeah, I was gonna say, what is your healing word? What do you tell him to uh, bring him back? Get up, bitch. <laughs> I I would I would probably just clap my ass cheeks to be perfectly honest. <laughs> just or maybe maybe my healing word because I like to throw money around is like I like kneel down and I'm like. For your crossing, and I put little gold coins on his eyes. Maybe that's what heals him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as soon as you feel like, despite the fact that you are out cold at the moment, you suddenly feel this like piercing cold on your eyelids, and you're like, no, no, Sharon, no, no, I'm not going. Sharon, being the uh, the boatman. Sharon. Yeah. I don't know. I might go. Can I choose to go with them? You can. You can. But you're being I have, healed. <laughs> I have days like that, too. <laughs> uh, I, I choose oh, to we're follow, getting real. Uh, uh, I, I go to Sharon and, and I say, uh, another time. And, and and I go back and I guess I go back into my body for okay. my three, for my, uh, what, three points of, of healing. Is uh, that what you heal them for? A 1d4. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all it does? Oh shit! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like one d four plus your modifier. I think. I mean, surely your modifier is more than zero. No, I didn't the. I didn't write my modifier down. Oh, perfect. Uh, I would be your wisdom. I made, uh, I made a whole your, your spell modifier. Oh, just wisdom. Uh, I think. I think I that would really, be yours, yeah. really start writing this stuff down. Yeah, actually, I think you're the only one who didn't send me a character sheet uh, this time. <laughs> you'd be great at geckos. You don't gotta write yeah. shit down. Yep, uh, yeah, three, three this, is the new, this is the new geckos crew right here. <laughs> three Everyone else three. is fired. <laughs> what, Dan? Six. Three plus three. Yeah. All right. So, Nikitas, you have oh, boy, you're six Almost at half. <laughs> wow, I had a nightmare. I saw my life flash before my eyes. It wasn't great. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I, I imagine, right? If, if I if I fallen, right, and I died, would I drop my current persona and go into that Warshack state of, of ambiguity? Probably, Maybe. yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. So for a brief instant, I I don't look like myself, and then when she brings me back, I, I immediately try to turn back into the normal yeah. toss. Like when you go unconscious, maybe you turn into um, essentially a more human-looking doppelganger. You know, you have like a nose and a mouth and stuff like that, but it, it's kind of that just blank gray. Right. And then when I come back to life, it has a little more color, but I'm still that average human blank. <laughs> well, like I, I imagine, cause like you said, the, the Rorschach. So when you come back, maybe you come back kind of as that Rorschach mask. Oh, and then quickly realize that I'm doing that cause I'm ashamed of it at this point in my, in my life. Right. I turn back into Normatas. It's okay, Nikitas. I know. <laughs> I cry a little bit in myself as I realize uh, what happened. I stand up from uh, Nikitas' side and I draw my spear. It's actually okay. a glaive, but it, yeah, it looks like a spear. Okay. It's a big, big fucking spear. Excellent. Bion, what are you doing? Uh, I guess I'm pulling out Betty. Okay. So... As you do this, nobody even asks who Betty is, but okay, whatever. Oh, who's, who's Betty? Betty? Uh, we know. <laughs> the well, now I'm not telling know. you. The internet doesn't know. Tell the internet who Betty is. Betty's my baton club. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, as 
two of you ready up. One of you kind of is shaking off the uh, near death experience. Yeah, I'm bleeding uh, from my eyes and ears. Yep. Yeah, they take a minute to load. They're buffering. Um, you see, like sparks start to appear in the middle of this tent. Um, Nikitas, you could roll an Arcana check if you would like. That's Lethos. Uh, five plus five, ten. Even with a ten, you would recognize that's a common prestigitation trick. Uh, they're, clean- they're, they're cleaning up the mess of the show. <laughs> or distracting you. One of the two. Could really go either way. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> I'm distracted watching them clean up the show. <laughs> So what are you guys doing? Rushing in blindly. <laughs> Not doing that. I'm uh, I'm I'm just uh, pointing my uh, my weapon that direction and just uh, kind of standing guard, um, getting ready. Okay. Tactics. Make a toss. What are you doing? Uh, following the lead of uh, Demetrius. So just kind of hanging out, waiting? Yeah, I kind of missed my opportunity of following everybody outside of the flap and backstage. I'm <laughs> um, still distracted by it. So I haven't learned press the digitation yet. So I'm kind of impressed by their ability to clean up. And like, <laughs> I, should, I should learn that. <laughs> like that's, I can clean up blood and like crime scenes and stuff. You it's notice that they don't seem to be cleaning up so much as they are... Um... Just, it's like little firecrackers. Oh, well, that equally grabs my attention. So I'm a little distracted. And yeah, it's shiny. It's basically like subconsciously following the lead of Demetrius. Okay. As, as you're just like looking around at all of them, trying to, to follow, see if there's a pattern. Do I see who's casting for the digitation? Uh, you do not. But can you I, know that they can can't try be to find super- out by a perception check. Uh, you can try, but I'll have you roll with disadvantage. It is still pretty smoky in here. Disadvantage. Well, uh, first one's a 21. Let's see what the second one is. Maybe it's a 22. Uh, 13 plus 3, so 16. Okay. Um, you don't see anyone, but you do notice that there is a flap that seems like it's a little bit more ajar. My friends, there's another flap. <laughs> we should investigate. I rush in. <laughs> and turns on heel and changes direction, keeps charging. <laughs> I mean, it fits Charge my towards that flap. Uh, I yeah. create a minor, uh, a minor illusion where the flap is mm-hmm. basically like a blinking light, just indicating like go here. It's like, <laughs> their, it's, like, it's, it's like their marker in any video game that shows where to go next. I'm yeah. going. Yeah. I mean, we are getting into classic Nikitas now. These are absolutely the ways you use your spells. So, as you all follow this marker into this flap, you see this form. It seems to be a shadowy creature. And they say, leave here now. Or be forever cursed. I cast light. On what? You have to cast light. The creature. Okay. Uh, so you cast <laughs> it on the creature and it immediately dispels. Oh, wait, wait. The isn't shadows. light a touch spell? Is it? I thought oh, could, yeah, it I is. I thought you could shoot it it's, off. No, it is. It's it, a, is. it is. An object you that touch you, you got to touch. Okay, well, then Not I'll touch. to be a rules lawyer or anything like I'll, that. I just want to make sure he's just run up and grab this thing. Here. Yeah, I'm just going to run up and grab it. I don't give a shit. Let's go. All right. So as you run up and you you poke this shadowy figure, uh, yeah, it, it casts light and the shadows are dispelled and you see this. Oh, wait. Was it larger than 10 feet? I mean, no. Okay, good. Then it works. <laughs> It's not like a massive creature. It's like a, a regular person-sized creature. Um, 
so yeah, as it dispels these shadows, you see what looks like normal toss. Hold up. The mm. most average man ever. Zero distinguishable features. It's like surprising you even recognize them as normal toss. Exactly. You're like, I think I've seen this guy once, maybe. Every white guy you ever met. <laughs> right? <laughs> this whole podcast currently. <laughs> All normal toss. <laughs> All the mayonnaise. <laughs> I guess I uh, I want to turn and suspiciously look at our real normal toss and then turn and look back at this fake normal toss and then look back at our real, like a very comedic, like... Yeah. The the double take. So like, oh, God. Yeah, but it's like slow and suspicious, right? Like, it's mm, not like yeah. fast. It's like slow. And... Uh, Nick Katas, what do you currently look like, by the way, since you did not keep the Rorschach form? Oh yeah, I would, I would have immediately went back to my recent form of, of the normal normal toss. Okay, but it, it, but I will say in this moment, I, I think uh, I've seen this figure trying to look like the, the portrayal of me. This might be the moment where I drop my facade in an attempt to convince Bion and Demetrios officially that like that that's not me. That this is the real me. Okay, that way they're okay. not in this battle of. Oh, who's the real normal toss? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I drop character and, and reveal much herself. Your, your Rorschach face. Um, Rorschach roll face. a performance check and we will have a performance off. Ah, my first net 20, 23 with a net 20. Hell yeah. All right. So you are the most bizarre, like uncomfortable looking form of yourself that either Bion or Demetrios has ever seen, keeping in mind that Bion really just officially met you today. And uh, yeah, exactly. Nailed it. Um, no pad out and everything. Hat formed. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do this, uh, Demetrios and Bion, you know only Nikitas could make people feel as uncomfortable as you currently feel looking at his just very strange Rorschach looking face, this ever shifting like white and black pattern. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> For now, what is this thing in front of us? Is it one of your kind? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't like it. Maybe. I don't like it either. Is it, it responding to us in any I way? I very naked right now. So as, as you all are kind of discussing what's going on, it says, you must be Demetrius. I, I am Demetrius. Who must you be? Lathos. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Oh, it, it totally it totally keeps editing out the face of whatever you're holding up. <laughs> Wait, is that the dude from uh, uh, Yu Yu show? Yeah, I was. I just noticed he was like right there in front of the camera, and the camera did a good job missing him. <laughs> Both John name? and that guy, the little Funko Pop, are not human. Clearly. So says Zoom. Sorry, John. RIP. I am proud of myself for getting that reference, then knowing that that guy is from you. <laughs> it's been such a long time. Yeah, I'm old. Yeah, I mean, we, we've already had this discussion. You're not that much older. Well, I'm, a, I'm at least 60 or so. <laughs> All right. So um, as this normal toss imposter just kind of chuckles and says well some have called me that what's it to you we were told to look for you to speak with you mm, I see well I have nothing to say to you well, we have things to say to you 
I'm sure you do, but you will never see your brother again. Then you know why we are here. Of course I do. It is personal for me, but what you have done, if the rumors are true, taking in children, youngsters, especially those susceptible to crime that you offer, it cannot be forgiven. Well, I would like to see you take me in. You will face justice. And its name is Bion. <laughs> justice! Uh, ass is the law. That is the law here. Uh, I take out my book and I start reading him his Miranda rights. His Mirandius rights? His Mirandius rights. You have the right to remain silent. I mean, you'd be surprised. Miranda, at what please. The court of you'd be surprised Sega. at what ancient Greek names are actually like normal names now. Literally, Melissa is an ancient Greek name. It means I've, beef. I've, I've never known a normal Melissa, so. You got me there. You got me there. So. Um, All right, are we rolling out on this bitch? Mob deep. Let's go. Yeah. So as you start reading this creature their rights make a toss Demetrios what are you doing I am uh, pressing for more answers demanding to know where my brother is since they clearly have a, an idea or they, they they're hiding you know, you're never going to see your brother again right the hell I ain't <laughs> <laughs> and Let's roll initiative real quick. Uh, I forgot how to do that. 10 for uh, Nikitas. It is just dexterity, correct? Dexterity modifier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dex mod, unless you have proficiency or something like that. I don't think you can have proficiency in um, initiative. I could be wrong. I rolled an 11. Oof. Bye on. Five. <laughs> and Nikitas, what was yours? I'm sorry. Uh, 10. 10. Okay. Um, so as Demetrios, you are trying to press for more answers. You see the familiar mist form as this creature this faux normal toss disappears again by Zeus's beard where did it go I'm sorry I, I just went to by grab Thor's hammer <laughs> well, I went to anchorman where it's like by Zeus's beard by Odin's raven <laughs> uh, I, I point over to where he's actually at <laughs> you don't actually see him. Damn it. He seems to have possibly disappeared behind another flap. These damn flaps. We must continue through the flaps. <laughs> light the tent on fire. <laughs> Just burn it all down. <laughs> I do have firebolt. It's fire on the wall. Spell is firebolt. <laughs> so you notice that there only seems to be one more flap. At this point, we're one flap away, guys. <laughs> I rush through said flap. Okay. I follow closely behind said flap. I follow third in suit, I guess, and <laughs> usher to be careful. <laughs> so watch as... your step, be mindful. This isn't up to OSHA. <laughs> there are no guardrails here whatsoever, no eye protection. Um, so Demetrios, as you make it through this flap, being the last in the party, you see that you are back in the main large tent. As you enter, you see that the pillar supporting the middle starts to rapidly shrink down, and you notice that the form 
of faux normal toss, grabs this shrunken down column and begins to run off as the tent begins to collapse. I guess I start to uh, run after. We, you know, we have to get out of there as fast as possible. So I start sure. sprinting. I can't sprint very quickly, but uh, I guess I will do what I can. Good over yeah, short distances. Yeah, I, I try to travel 30 feet in six seconds as well. I mean, you all can dash. That is an option. That I is why I dash. I guess I will, I will dash as well, 60 feet too. I don't, I don't think I've dashed 30 feet in six seconds one time in my entire fucking life. <laughs> Jeez. Well, good for you. It would be 50 feet in this, this instance. So <laughs> faster than a speeding Dan. <laughs> Fast as fuck. I'm with you boy. there, Dan. <laughs> So as you all begin to sprint at top speed across, you make it about halfway before you see this colorful glowing orb that is hucked towards you. Like an apple. Yeah, a little bit larger than an apple, like a, like a maybe softball. Well, it chromatic in nature? It was What's hucked that? at us? Is it chromatic? Uh, it appears to be, yeah. Can I try to hit it with my belly stick like baseball? Sure. What do I roll? What do you roll? Do uh, I just roll? roll to hit. Oh, if it's dexterity, I'm going to lose. <laughs> I mean, you're rolling to hit. It's a it's, club, so it would be strength. It. it would be strength. I, I don't hit it. Well, what was it? Don't worry about it. That's like a five. So, is it like a five or is it a five? Uh, it is a five. <laughs> Pretty sure it's your third well, five. Well, it's a five plus a one, and I know it's not going to hit, so why worry about it? Right, right. So you have never played baseball because it doesn't I, I exist roll, in this world. Well, well, it's five plus one, so I guess it's... But no, that... I, yeah, baseball doesn't exist. That's the last I heard. Yeah, you cut out there for a second. So, uh, yeah, you've, you've never played oh, baseball. It's a swing and a miss, I guess. Or, or so you've heard, you know. Um, so it, it misses you and lands. It too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it lands and begins to emit this colorful, almost smoke-like mist. Um, Thankfully, you all are dashing, and as it, it starts to erupt in this way, you all are able to avoid whatever effect it might have had. So as you, on your second turn, dash to the edge, the far, um, hey, quick, to the far side of this tent and out you see this form and they say, well, I suppose this is it. End of the line. Face justice. What, what is it that we face? Is it normal to us? Um, at this point, it appears to be a satyr. A cat sleep. Do you? <laughs> If sleep doesn't work, I hit it with my club until it goes unconscious. <laughs> oh, yeah, sleep totally doesn't work, so I hope it goes unconscious. Uh, give me one second. I'm guessing a second level, so I get blah, blah, blah. how many? I think it's 5d8. It's 2, so 78. 78. Hold on one second. Does the satyr have any weapons? Uh, you don't see any weapons. Well, that doesn't mean anything. I, I'm going to beat him in either way. We're in uh, if it's health is 45 or, or, or less, uh, it should fall asleep unconscious. So, I mean, you wouldn't be the first to act. I don't believe. What was, what was your initiative again? Was it 11? It was the highest of our group. It was, three. It was 11. Okay. Or 11. Uh, so it rolled a 13. 
and counter spells me. I, I get it. Yeah. Um, actually, because I haven't gotten to do this in forever, uh, it is going to cast Fireball. Fireball? No, even if I dodge I'm logging it. out. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> yeah, like Fireball's not even a spell I can even cast right now. It must be a, a level four or five wizard or higher. You're at level four. You just split between two classes. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I wanted to. Yep, yeah, that's me. Yeah. All right, so I believe you all roll a dex save, correct? I don't even have to roll a dex save. I fail. I mean, you should probably guess roll. roll. You might get another nat 20. But even if I did, I still think I have damage. Right. You would only be unconscious then, not like necessarily dead. Well, I rolled a six, so I'm dead. <laughs> so I rolled a 20, but it's minus three. But it was a nat 20? Yeah. Okay, I mean... It's an at 20. We we play with the rule of that's an automatic success on most stuff. Fireball that, you little bitch. Uh, Demetrius, what was yours? I'm sorry. 13. Okay. Uh, so, Demetrios and Bion, you pass, so you will only take half damage. <laughs> Let me see. You're rolling too many dice there, buddy. I didn't, didn't want to grab more D6s. It's frightening. <laughs> You're muted. Am I? He's oh. not. I saw your mouth moving. Nikita, snap. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn that on earlier. Um, yeah, we, we won't do that this time because we already forgot, so no. <laughs> um, so that is 19 damage for the full, um, and that would be 9 for the half. All right, I'm down again. But at least you're not dead. No, not dead. <laughs> yet. Fortunately, not I yet. I was expecting or... like a, a 50 roll or a 40 roll. On the, <laughs> I was on too. The I was like, you know, this might, this, this might fuck up the future. Maybe we have to fudge this a little bit. I passed. <laughs> now, my, my first roll, because I, I was only doing 2d6 at a time, was a 1 and a 2. I'm like, okay, he might, he might make it through this. <laughs> We're okay. All right. So, Nikitas, it is... You next. I'm going to roll my first death saving throw. If you die, I will come find you. <laughs> 11. If you die, you die. All right, that is a pass. Uh, Demetrius, you were next, correct? Uh, if an 11 makes me next. Sure. Bion, what did you roll for initiative? I don't think I caught it. Bad. Uh, like, a, like a three? It was bad. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he rolled bad. It was the opposite of good. <laughs> I'm having a bad night with the rolls. Derek, you were muted. I'm just reviewing some things here. Oh, okay. It is your first time playing Demetrius, so. And it in indeed it is. <laughs> Who are we waiting on? It is Demetrius' turn. He is reading, Me, which is reading. notoriously hard for all of us. <clears throat> no pressure. Yeah, it's only late o'clock for those of you on, on the, the west East coast. It is past my bedtime. The worst coast. Now listen here, it's past my well, bedtime. You're not even too. on a coast. <laughs> we're we're on we're on a we're on a coast. You don't know what the coast okay, of the I'm middle. Gonna, I'm going to go ahead here um, and just uh, try to run up to this thing and 
uh, just come at it with my uh, my spear glaive. Okay. You're muted again. I knew that. An <laughs> unnatural 20. Nice. Good old dirty 20. That will definitely hit. This does a whopping eight damage. <laughs> Are you doing anything else? Uh, yes. I'm just looking at my bonus actions real quick. Okay. All right, I'm going to use my Polar Master bonus attack, which lets me hit with the uh, other end of the butt. The booty of my weapon. Yes. <laughs> the Bion. A 16 to hit. That will hit. And this is four damage. Okay. Blood. Excellent. Bye on. Are we are we trying to bludgeon it? Because it, it do be bludgeoned. We do be bludgeoned, giving it the old bludger. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I guess I'll bludgeon. Am I close enough to bludgeon it? Did I run up on this beat? Oh yeah. I mean, you're definitely close enough. You can run up on it. Oh, what did I just do? Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen to hit. That will hit. Okay. And then I don't really know. Hang on. I didn't finish making my character sheet, as we all know, because I am not that guy. I mean, you already have a character sheet. It's just for... Uh... Later, Bion. Yeah, but I, I've changed it. This character, this Bion has a different weapon. How dare you? Future Bion has a hammer. Current Bion has Do not. like a cudgel baton type thing. Because why would I not just keep a fucking hammer, Daniel? Damn, Daniel. Back at it with having to dig through the player's handbook. <laughs> As one do. That's armor. Where the fuck is it? There we go. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. <laughs> Should not have done that. Four. Damage? Four damage. That, that's, okay. That's what I'd be doing. Hey, that's okay. Oh, chipping all away. That, all that research for four damage. Hey, you are chipping away. All right, so we are back to Mysterious Maybe Lethos, who is going to... <laughs> cast Ray of Frost, which I don't remember how much damage it does, but thankfully I've got the internet. I see my auto fail. How'd you know it was directly to you? He's reading are, your mind. Are we all together? <laughs> well, I think they the this just rushed in. I don't know if I'm more than 15 feet away or not. I probably am. Let's see. Okay, so it's only 1d8. Um, What's the range on that? Uh, it's not going to hit anyway. The range is 60 feet. Uh, they rolled a 3 to hit. As before modifiers or anything, but I'm pretty sure that's not even close to any of your ACs. So, what was it? Uh, a three on the dice. Oh yeah. No. 
Dan's Fuck like, that well, that, that that might be close, you know, maybe. Well, like it is. Yeah. All right, Demetrios, you are up next. Tim is. Oh uh, no. You oh yeah, it is. No, it is. Make it toss yeah. when he makes a death save. That's right. Did you change your seating, Tim? Shit, uh, I rolled a uh, three. Okay. One success, one fail. All right, Demetrius. All right, now it's my turn. All right. Um, <clears throat> with uh, his spear tip facing the uh, creature, um, he's uh, he's going to uh, just kind of uh, yell at it again. I'll give you another chance. Where's my brother? Where is Deimos? You'll never see him again. He has given his immortal soul to the dark forces. To the dark forces. Prepare to meet Hades, then. To send you to the darkest of them. Uh, I'm going to go for another attack. And as you begin your attack, he says, you do not even begin to know the darkness. I was born in darkness. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> You're speaking mute again. I, I second screen. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, an eight will not hit, I presume. It will not, unfortunately. All right, bye on. Let's do something. Or, I, Demetrius, do you have anything else you can do? Can you still make your bonus action attack if you didn't hit? You're on your second screen again. Yes, as long as I take the uh, attack action with my uh, uh, pole arm. Okay. Is that what you want to do here, or are you finished with your turn? Yeah, I'm going to try to, as I'm, I guess, swing and miss with the uh, spear tip, I'm going to come back again with the butt of the weapon. Okay. No tip, but all butt. I thought I clicked in it. <laughs> <laughs> I assume an 11 will miss as well. Uh, it will not. That will actually hit. So squishy wizards, man. Five bludgeoning damage. Big ol' five. All right. Bion? Hey, Bion, before you go, Nick does whispers in your ear. Healing word is a bonus action. <laughs> but you didn't actually hear that because he just said it in his head. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's written on his uh, arm. <laughs> this is gonna have to be happening to all of us now. You're also muted, right? <laughs> You're still muted, Dan. I kept hitting space, and it was like, <laughs> ask the host to let you record. And I'm like, I don't want to fucking record. I want to talk. Well, you have to ask first. Uh, yeah, I. Hmm, I'm gonna. Inf I want to try and inflict wounds. All right. So it says cast a melee spell attack. So that's just like a melee attack, right? Like you roll a d20. Basically, yeah. Okay. Tell so I don't like to follow the rules and run the DM. I'm just like, yeah, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Uh, spoilers, but Romanos does that in the next episode. And it's pretty fucking badass. So uh, you were there, Dan. It's not spoilers for you. Oh, okay. Here we go. Believe in the heart of the cards. Get the fuck out. <laughs> is it natural 20? Is it? Is it? Okay. Let's, let's see it. Let's see it. Well, if I aim down, you might see what's <laughs> what pants I'm not wearing. Gotta tug it away. <laughs> okay. Gotta see your penal code. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh god, it's tipping. It's tipping. <laughs> it's a 20. I'm not showing you. 
<laughs> you gotta believe me. I'm trying to show you, but every time I move it, it starts to tip. All right, I'm believing in the heart of the cards this time. Show One us time. just the tip. <laughs> you want me to, I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, it's a 20. All right. <laughs> all right. So roll double damage. So it's 3d10, so that'll be 6d10. Yep. Okay. Yeah, inflict wounds is beastly, especially for being a decently low level. <laughs> Where the fuck is my D10 at? It says, so it crits? Does it can it can flick wounds can crit? I mean, that's how I've always played. Is like if you it's... crit on a spell attack, it's the same as I, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. 10 out. Hang on. I guess so. Damn. I don't know if that's like rules as written, but no, I think it is. Much. I think that makes it. it's an attack. It's an attack roll. You crit on 20s on attack rolls, so right. Strong. God, what if, find... But what if he had uh, crit on that fireball earlier. That would have sucked so well, that, much. That's a that's a saber suck spell, so that you can't crit on it. Right. Oh yeah, it is true. True. That's probably why. <laughs> TPK people all the time, right? Unless you roll a one when you're saved. <laughs> Three ones. <laughs> okay. You combust into flames, and you are gone. Ten eight. Five, three, three, four. Oh my you god. You lost me at numbers. Uh how many is that? Ten, eight, five, three, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 33. E, so 10, uh, three. As the wizard, I can attest they have a lot less than that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's right. Okay. Oh, should I still have my camera aimed down? Sorry, everybody. We just wanted to look at your titties. There's that beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely better than my titties. So, Bion, how do you do this? I mean, I touch him and he fucking dies. Like, I don't really fucking know. Fucking anticlimactic, <laughs> you piece of shit. I walk up and I'm like, woo! <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I've never killed anybody with a spell before. One of the first to um, cast healing word, wake up Nikitas. <laughs> R.I.P. Nikitas. No, uh-huh. I guess I just uh I hobble up or come clapping up there and I'm just like bippity boppity because I don't know how to cast spells. <laughs> and I uh I grab him, right? And I'm like, you have one more chance to tell us where Demos is. And then he fucking dies, I guess. Because oops. So he's Whoops. not actually dead. <laughs> he's just unconscious. Okay, well, then I knock his ass out with it. I smack him upside the head. I'm like... <laughs> and Your I'm inflict wounds is just a pan. Like yeah. a frying pan that you smack him with? Yeah. Yes. So, as he goes unconscious, Demetrios, you were trying to get answers, and the person who can likely answer that is now unconscious and dying. Now that we're out of initiative, what do you do? I pick up his um, limp body <laughs> and I shake it and then I scream and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm losing my temper at this point. I just uh, think, uh, where's my brother? Where's Demos? I forgot that uh, someone's sleeping upstairs. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to love that. I'm going to hear about it. <laughs> Just blame it on me. I will. I fully. It wasn't me. Oop, not me. <laughs> that, was, that was Rick. Yeah, whoever that guy is. So as you yell this, uh, I mean, he is actively unconscious. So cannot respond to you. And Bion you know and Nikitas. Is unconscious? Oh, yeah, Nikitas. Nikitas is also dying. Bion. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast a healing spell on Nikitas. Are you doing healing word or what are you doing? You don't say. A healing word, yeah, that's what I've, I've got. Okay. Uh, what is your healing word? What are you healing with? I don't know. His killing uh, word is don't die. Yeah. <laughs> don't die, Nikitas. I need you. Baklava <laughs> boy, back on your feet. And when he says, uh, I need you, Nikitas, don't die, 
He doesn't even actually cast a spell. That's just enough. <laughs> like, they can toss the, someone needs me. Yeah, I don't want to do like, like, the deep within. I don't want to do like the whole like putting coins on his eyes thing again because then that's like repetitive, like Final Fantasy or something. Like, bro, you just did that. Yeah, like, like that's that's the dumbest fucking thing, bro. You <laughs> why would you? Why you did it? Was dumb the first time you did it. Why are you doing right. it now? <laughs> All right, so Nikitas, you are conscious again. Demetrius. This lifeless, I mean, he's not dead, but this like unconscious form limply just hangs as you're shaking it and flops as you do this. What do you do now? I, um, seeing that it's not working, shaking it violently <laughs> as it's unconscious. I'm just going to kind of drop him down. Um, by the way, what does he look like now? Uh, so he is still in the form of the satyr that he was in. Last. Oh, right, right, right. A satyr. Um, so I, I kind of just drop him in place and I stand up and pick up my spear and uh, start walking, uh, I don't know, kind of aimlessly towards whatever is in front of me like is there if there's another tent just to look like, like this this was another dead end yeah. where's i got to go find like this got to be somebody else so at this point you you after you exited uh through the the last flap you have left the carnival you are outside now um you're in just kind of like a, a brushy lightly wooded area there is no one around and everything around you is silent. I just stare out into the <laughs> open field. I just when like, you hear Nikitas wake up uh, like faintly and say, don't do it, Demetrios. Don't do it. Don't go too far. <laughs> So as you kind of like start to walk off, you aren't right next to him. So it's hard to say for certain, but you feel like his life signs are rapidly fading. He seems to be growing more pale every second. The satyr? Mm -hmm. More more pallid and corpse-like. Would it help if I cast healing word on him and we bondage him up with rope? I like how you, you went straight to bondage, not like anything else. <laughs> uh, we you know, put, a, put a ball gag in him and then tickle him <laughs> with a feather. I take out my uh, handcuffs. They are fuzzy in nature. And then I throw them away and take out my real <laughs> state issued handcuffs and I handcuff them while they're unconscious and then perhaps cast healing word myself in an attempt to just wake them up enough uh, while under bondage to let Demetrius uh, ask some questions. Sure. So uh, as you're doing this, Demetrius, I mean, at this point, it seems like you are not going to get any answers. It seems like this carnival has taken your brother from you and you may not be able to locate him. The, the one person who was kind of said to be the one who would be able to answer you is now near death, even though Nikitas may have brought them to being more stable. They are very near to death still. Well, seeing that uh, he, was, he brought him back to, is he like conscious? Uh, no, he is just at zero. He is unconscious, but stable. I'm really not good at healing word, apparently. <laughs> um, I, just, I don't know. I got to try to get more answers. There's nothing around, just like the tents are gone. The circus is gone. Uh, no, so the, the tents aren't gone, but you don't see any. It's almost as if they kind of just dipped nobody is around just us and the satyr mm -hmm. and i mean this appears to be the one who would have 
recruited or taken or coerced your brother into uh, what sounds like pretty unspeakable crimes. You know, he, he mentioned uh, the, the dark forces and the things that he has corrupted your brother to do. Um, so <clears throat> I run back over to uh, Nikitas and the creature, um, Lethos, and uh, I kind of push Nikitas aside to see if his healing has, like, like, brought him back and and seeing that he's not conscious still and he's just uh, kind of there uh, not being able to give me what I want um, slowly I start to uh, kind of you kind of see uh, Demetrios kind of start to bulk up a little bit um, and kind of uh, he's like looking down at, he's just holding onto this body and uh, he he, um, he he looks down and you can kind of see his his all of his muscles kind of on peak um, and you see him clenching his jaw uh, which again all, all this these signs of stress that he's been actively trying to avoid and uh, he's really letting the concept of you know losing his brother who's always been kind of on the wrong path um he has kind of led the perfect life that he could live as close to the line as he can be on on the on the line of justice to try to lead his brother down the path that is uh right um and uh in that moment he uh he snaps and for you know the <laughs> in the in a in a cafeteria or in a, in a clock in, you know, when you clock in for work it's zero days since last incident or 100 <laughs> 160 days since the last incident, it is uh, someone comes up and erases it and it rates zero. Right. Um, and uh, Demetrios uh, shifts into his auric form. Um, He's going full super saiyan. Uh, yes. Uh, his, <laughs> he, he, you can see little tufts of hair kind of bursting out of his, uh, his arms. And uh, he, Oh, I got, hold on. I got um as he as uh Demetrius is doing this I do want to cast message and whisper to him one word don't this this ah happens. yes <laughs> I can, I'm trying to fucking camera over here here we go <laughs> this is more beastly form no. He becomes he becomes more red. His Don't. his claws become elongated. Horns start to sprout out of his head. Um, his ears become more animal like, and um, he 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 was muttering words like to the the satyr, saying things like you know, just kind of repeating, "Give me my brother. My brother was Demos. Demos, um, you know, father would be so disappointed in me." And she's like he's kind of spiraling out of control. Right, and he um, he loses it. He loses it, and uh, he goes full full beast form, and absolutely uh, begins to uh, just tear the satyr apart. Like just starting to, because he's. I feel like satyrs are kind of small. <laughs> small issue. Yeah. yeah. So he's he's like six four or something like that, and like. 260 pounds of just muscle and his normal sure. human form uh and in his shifted form he's he's pretty massive um and he uh, he just starts to you know kind of ragdoll this satyr into the ground and just kind of like slamming him and he's absolutely just going carnal on this on this satyr yeah i mean you basically become all but a minotaur uh as I'm watching this, I'm still on the ground. Uh, I feel from like waking up from my near death experience, mm -hmm. and I just watch this experience happen. And they're whispering "Don't" to him, and yeah. uh, real tears of real concern and um, not disappointment, but just fear. Sure, uh, dribble down his uh, Nekadas's eyes as he realizes that his friend has just gone too far, and yeah. he knows what's what's going to happen next. And even your words, you know, as his longtime partner, 
aren't enough to reach him to stop him. As he's ripping him limb from limb, I use every ounce of energy and magical power that I have to cast sleep to quell the beast in the hopes that Bayon can put him in restraints and do what must be done. What uh, what does he have to roll? Or do you roll it? Uh, he doesn't. I, I roll 78. Okay. Hold on That's right. Okay. Um, and as you were doing this, Bayon... And I'll let you continue rolling. Um, Bion. Uh, 41. Okay. Um, Bion, you hear from behind you, out of the tent, someone emerges and says, stop, stop. You must not do this. And Nikitas, you cast sleep, putting Demetrios out. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know what is it would help with what is helping. You did. You you uh you you beat my actual max HP by one. Oh. But <laughs> I'm, I'm currently at 21, so you 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 good. good. Yeah, so I put Demetrius to sleep after the satyr's been ripped apart. Yep. And uh the, the you know, we hear the don't 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 don't, but all I hear is oh no, my friend. Right. So by on you might not know. Uh, kind of the beat cops wouldn't necessarily recognize uh, who and what this is. Um, Nikitas, do you kind of look and see what is saying this, like what came out of the tent? Uh, yeah, with my perception, I, I'd imagine I look back and try to acknowledge. Sure. Um, so uh, you 20, look back. 20%. Okay. I, I wasn't even going to make you roll. I mean, you can you can see it. It's really the only thing out there besides the three of you and now the, the lifeless form of Lethos. Um, and you see from the flap emerges what you have only heard rumors of. Um, you know that there is basically like a, a division of your um, I can't even remember the name of the, the the thing uh, uh the, of investigation and protection yes um so your bureau there is kind of a, a rumored group within sort of like the internal affairs for like a normal police department yeah like the man um, black yep <laughs> uh and I, I am probably going to absolutely butcher this because i've already forgotten i i looked it up uh but it is the Citerizine, um, basically it, it loosely translates to like the Whisperer. And you know that this is, like I said, like the internal affairs. Um, so you can only assume that there was some kind of investigation, um, either about like Demetrios or you or Bayon. Elamon didn't trust us, so we sent the IA to follow us. This yeah. Is bullshit. <laughs> and they just say I I was too late. Uh as you see Nikitas uh lift up his arm and drop the fuzzy handcuffs into Bion's hands because that's all he has left to restrain Demetrius. <laughs> I, uh, I'm probably going to take one look at the handcuffs and one look at Demetrios and be able to ascertain that these handcuffs are probably not big enough <laughs> what you're requiring me to do with them. I will say I'm pretty so... sure he most likely de-shifts whenever he's put oh, okay. to sleep. I mean, he's still pretty large, but... Yeah, but he's not, he's not like, you know... Massive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Then pink fiery handcuffs should work. Okay. I'm assuming they're pink. Yeah, they're anyway. they're extra strong. Yeah, they're they're meant for large creatures. <laughs> they're a little tight. Yeah, they were definitely not bought with Demetrios in mind. Not. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, then those I'll go ahead the, and put for the on. howling. But yeah. I imagine that after he's put in restraints, that Demetrios, after turning back into human form, I think he realizes what he did. He probably go willing, you know, willingly. Yeah, he's just. 
magically asleep right now. So oh, that's right, he's sleeping. Yeah. So what yeah. do you want with him? Um. So this this form uh, comes over, and you can see them a little bit better as they near you. It, it is dark outside. You're not in any kind of like lighted area anymore. Um, and as they get closer, you see their face shift similar to your Rorschach appearance. Mom. <laughs> and they say, I'm, I'm sorry, but we have to take your partner in. And we will have to question you and Bion as well. I don't know. I get it. He should have murked that dude. <laughs> I didn't tell him to do it. I, I totally, I totally get it. I, I, I get it. I, I, I believe you. It, it is unfortunate. And that's actually where we're going to end this session. Is Demetrios, oh. unfortunately, will be going to prison. So oh, we actually no. didn't ever find out what happened to the brother. Probably dead. Maybe. Demetrios. I mean, or who Demetrius. knows? I, I got to give Demetrius some tips on how to survive in prison. Uh, tip one, have lots of money. <laughs> tip two, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Hire a good lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, maybe one day Nikitas will be a lawyer. Who knows? Anything could happen. <laughs> maybe. But, you know, you will find out next time on Hammer of the Gods. <laughs> geckos and Oh, Kratos. Geckos and... Oh, shit, wrong one. <laughs> Hammer of the Gods. <laughs> Hammer of the Gods. So I know it is super late for you guys on the East Coast, but uh, before we end tonight, you guys have anything to say? Any last-minute shout-outs, anything? Um, thank you for uh, inviting us to be on the show. Uh, it's a good amount of fun uh, getting to play d and uh, usually DMing for these guys. <laughs> and then, uh, Geckos, it's not d and so it's, it's, it's a D&D-ish. Different... It's D&D-ish, right? There's <laughs> dice being rolled. Uh, you're not making intelligence checks or investigation checks as much as you're making, can you dodge out of the way checks? <laughs> Do you fit in there, check? <laughs> I will say, I feel like the the episode that Kay and I came on to, uh, we did a lot more rolling than you guys normally do on most episodes. <laughs> I would agree. Yeah, that yeah. was a fun episode. It was the it was you guys were in the clouds playing the the gods Kung game and uh, beach yeah. volleyball. Jumanji. Yeah, Jumanji, and then beach volleyball against the Triceracops. <laughs> that was With, a great uh, episode. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. Doesn't it makes absolutely sense. no sense in the best way possible. <laughs> and we pissed off Poe, and then everyone's memory got wiped. <laughs> and that, all except that was for one. one episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Athos does still remember all of that. So mm, that's hilarious. True, that's true. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, thanks for coming on, guys, Tim. I mean, I don't know when we're going to play again, but uh, we'll figure that out. So. I'm sure we will. Yeah. yeah, you guys are awesome. It was it was good playing with you, too. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah. I look forward to continuing the, the storyline for for Nikitas Pion and Demetrios. They make yeah, a absolutely. great trio. Absolutely, <laughs> they do make a great trio. Next time, <laughs> and, uh, for Bad Boys of New Alexandria, they break out Demetrios. The gang breaks Demetrios out of prison yes. by going into spoilers. Prison. Spoilers. Hey, I'm, I'm not. A, well, never mind. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> all right that'll be funny so all that's right. where we're gonna end tonight thanks again for coming guys and thanks everyone who joined us for this live stream until next time right, bye everybody bye good night guys <laughs>